What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a set review of Ravnica Allegiance. I'm here with Swole Rob. Woo! Mike, Swole Mike. Robert the Swolest. The Swolest. Robert of the Swole. <laughs> I don't know what his name is, I'll be honest with you. But here we are, and we're going to go over all of these Ravnica Allegiance cards. Right now, we're going to go over the white cards through the red cards. And then the next one, we'll do the green cards, the gold cards, the artifacts, and the land, so all the colorless things. All the guild gates. All of the guild gates. Every gate that has Dual ever been art. gilded. Dual art. There's double art again. That's true. Mm -hmm. I did not download all of the double arts, so. I quit. It's, I'll see you later. All right. Robert Michael Swollenstein. That's actually a good name. <laughs> Let's go with that. Wasn't the first time I've heard that. <laughs> I get that all the time. <laughs> all right, so. You ready? Fire it away. Weren't you, gonna, weren't you talking about something? Oh, Rob was going to explain why he has two phones. Actually, that that never came up at all. If because I was talking he's a drug dealer. I was talking about the sub that you got, and I was saying congratulations, and their name is... Smoke Doke. Jazzly. Jazzy? It's Jazzy? Jazzly. Not Jazzly. Jazzy. And I was just saying I'm, I'm happy they passed the test. That was it. Huh. Yeah. Let's go to the first card. Let's. Why don't we do that? He sells whole chickens on the side. Okay, the first card is Angel of Grace. If you guys watch Freshly Brewed, you I, I can't do it. Watch Freshly, Freshly Brewed? I can't do it. <clears throat> I can't keep them in. They're irritating me right now. If anybody watches Freshly Brewed, please send me a message with how you do that. I'm uh, unaware. Well, you would be the first one, I thought, who would watch Freshly Brewed because you like peeping in through the windows. Right. Anyway, if you listen... To I can't hear anything, actually. I just see you through the window. I if can't you hear, listen so. to the Freshly Brewed podcast with myself and Ali and Trazi, uh, you may have known that I, I hyped this card up quite a bit. I thought it was pretty sweet. What do you think about this card? This card is... Um, Pretty busted, not in the sense of it just dominates the format, um, but the ability is, is clearly It just seems like busted. a very, very obnoxious card. It, it could have just been the top three sections. It didn't even need the bottom, and it was still a great card. Five mana, five, four, flash flying. Like, that's that's busted. This card's great. You were totally going to explain the phones. Just so <clears throat> you know. The phones? We didn't even... T rewind, the, rewind the clip. I, I can't do that. We're, on, we're live on the internet right oh, now. I thought it was 2019. Plastic teeth malfunctioning. The future still needs some work. Uh, I have one phone because I'm a normal person, and I have one phone for my for my job. They can't and call you. No, on I'm your, not a drug dealer. They can't call you on your home phone. Unfortunately, my company work? doesn't want them with my personal number. Because your drug, because it's illegal, right? To have a second phone. No, for them to give your, you don't want to give your the, the actions you're taking are illegal, which is why they don't want you using your regular phone. Wouldn't it be the actions that I'm supplying, not the actions I'm taking? Well, the actions you're taking are selling drugs. That's an illegal action. If you say so. Do you do you just do you I disagree. You don't think the act of selling drugs is illegal? No, 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 I do, but I don't do that. So Well, that's up for debate. You're getting a little pushy. Uh you're being a little drug dealery. <laughs> so I guess we're even. That's true. You you're right. I think this card's very strong and I've actually been looking I've been like refreshing the pre-releases for it cuz it's been <clears> going down. It was up to like 1675 and now I'm finding auctions where it's like 1474 and I'm like, "All right, that's $2 each." Mm -hmm. um, and I've been just tempted to pick this card up because I haven't looked at all the cards yet, which is what we're going to do over the set review. But um, this one definitely stood out to me, and I was like, eh, it seems pretty good. It, it's just busted, right? But I don't think it's a 15. I don't think it stays at 15. I expected it to cost 6 mana, not 5 mana. So when it costs 5 mana, I'm just like, eh, that's pretty good. Again, f 5 mana, 5, 4, flash, flying. Like that's that, a lot of that's, abilities by itself, that's right? That's busted, right? And then you're like, oh, then it saves you if you would die. Oh, and on top of that, and there's, oh, but wait, since, there's we're, here, since yeah. we're here, why don't you go back to 10? It's, this card's just dumb. Like, also, then if you, if, you, if you flash this in on turn 5 and then on turn 6, play Lyra... You just attack for six lifelink. Lifelink, yeah. That's it's stupid. pretty good. That's yeah. probably probably you probably don't lose the game after that. <clears throat> like to be honest with you, your first thought is this is a card that's gonna be played in control, right? Yeah, this as, is not an aggressive card. You think that, right? I but do. I also could see this in a mid rangey green white deck. So you just want to put it in every deck, basically. No, no. I don't I don't I don't play a lot of white decks. But um I, I could see this as like a one or a two of that you just play. Like there's nothing wrong with this card. It does, like we said before, it doesn't even need the middle middle section of text. Like, that's that's all buffer. It's a 5-4 right. flash flying angel, which is relevant as well. I feel like it's very rare you're going to be flashing this in to save yourself. Usually you're probably just going to flash it on turn 5 to beat them down and kill your opponent. That's relevant. So if you're just like, there's definitely a point where like, if you're flashing this in to save yourself, it's probably just gravy. It's just, ex, it's just extra bonus. Exactly. Yeah. 
Angelic Exaltation. This is literally has Exalt right in the name. <laughs> Four mana for an uncommon. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures you control. Whoa. That is literally... <laughs> A donation for a captive audience Grixis Control Bruticon. That's awesome. I can't wait for that. Seems good. That card's gas. I don't know what that card is, but I'll have to That's find That's the seven minutes. Don't tell me. I'll <sighs> see it when we get to it. This is the second time you try to spoil a card for me. And I'm just like, just wait. We'll figure it out when we get there. Okay. Um, I don't think this is constructed playable. No, not even close. Okay. Nope. Four mana. If this costs three mana, I'd be on, maybe this on board. Is, but this, isn't even, this isn't even good in, in, in limited. This is my sealed pool yesterday. I didn't even play it there. Yeah, exactly. I was like... If I have 10 creatures, the last thing I want to do is play a card that makes one of them better yeah. every turn. Um, unless, unless like, I guess the only way I could see that last card relevant is in your sealed pool if, uh... <laughs> if I you thought we were doing crack gate again. If you have... Earthbound Nate, thank you so much for the, for the so bits. Wait, I really appreciate it. I can't bring up another card that we haven't seen yet if I'm trying to relate it to a card that we're talking about? Yes. Yes, I can, or no, I can't? Yeah, you can, but just okay. don't explain it to me. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Archway Angel. Six mana for a 3-4. You've already lost me. I'm already gone. Uh, backwards, actually. When it enters the battlefield, you gain two life for each gate you control. So I will be playing this card week one of standard. I'm not. I'm being dead serious. I know you are. That's okay. why I was reluctant. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow. Because I was watching... Um, Ollie stream, and of course oh, he streamed with Lich's Mastery. And this card, this card literally lets you draw your deck. Like this card, this card's oh, pure busted. Oh, sure, 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 sure. It's pure busted. Like this. I this mean, card in a combo is... deck, sure. In like the Lich's Master deck, where this draws you like fourteen cards because yeah, you have cause seven you gain, gates. Yeah. But... Every, every every land he's playing, literally ninety percent of his lands are, are are all gates, and he's using a card that we have. Six seen mana yet. is a lot, though. It is, unless you have ways to ramp to six, and you're doing it on four. Do you not have a hand size when you have? Um... It's irrelevant. So, like, that's an argument he has. Like, people say, "Oh, well, you should run Reliquary Tower." If you have seven, if you have no, I wasn't. No, I'm asking if Lich's Mastery had a clause that says you have to max hand size. No, you still sure. have to discard okay. hand size. No, that's not a. You don't have to keep more than eight cards in hand. That's that's fine. Yeah, yeah it's irrelevant. You, you can, in a game anyway. If you can, if you draw ten cards, keeping only seven of them, the seven best cards is still totally fine. Like, right. you're not gonna. You don't need every single card. Yeah. Are we good? Yeah, we'll come back to that if, if other things. We're coming back to this? Well, because there's other six there's other interactions we haven't seen yet. That I can't. just that just worked good with it. Arrestor's zeal. One mana. Target creature gets plus two plus two. If you cast the spell during a main phase, that creature gains flying. I mean it's a great trick in limited, but I'm not gonna be Yeah, in limited this is everything you want in your one mana spell. This card is like How do you know what I want in my one mana spell? I was talking to them. How do you know what they want? They told me. Oh, that's fair. Yep. I can't really argue with that. But, I guess. Th but this card's great. It, it gives evasion plus two plus two. But not in constructed. No, no chance. Goodbye. Bring to trial. Three mana is a good rate for this because I'm used to like neck snap, right? Where it's like exile, uh, destroy a creature with four or greater. Did you say neck snap? Uh, neck snap was from Lorwyn. Jesus. But I think that's actually destroying attacking How or blocking. Many blocks ago was that? You, that's what you led with. That's. <laughs> Like, we literally Destroy just... Destroy target attacking or blocking creature. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm thinking of Collar the Culprit. Yeah, that's from this past set. <laughs> that's from, like, you went back to Lord. Yeah, Collar costs four mana. Destroy a creature with toughness four or greater. Oh, this is Exile. This is Exile with power four or greater. And I think this is probably better than that. I don't know if this is going to see Constructed play. For three mana, it's no, a lot. No way. And a Sorcery. Like, come on. Ain't nobody got time for that. If this... Actually, so this is, like, the perfect card where they could have made this an instant. And because and of... And then, like... No, it would still kind of it could see like a one of in the sideboard, like if you're if there's a lot of mid range strategies. Yeah, I mean it does what it, it does. does. Like, for three mana to kill a creature is not terrible, but no. every card is for commander. Oh, I'll, I'll bring up commander cards if I see them. Civic stalwart, otherwise known as That's Elephant Boy. Yeah, well, like, yeah, he is known as that. I've yeah. heard it. He's a very thin, Elephant Boy. Four mana for a three three that pumps your team when it comes into play is pretty good. Uh, not for constructed, but yeah, it's. it's no, this is like your filler. This is like you're drafting and you're finishing and you need a four drop or you need another creature or you just end up running it. This is a this is the thing of Hershey's Kisses that Rob brought and what? I wanted to see if the green ones were see-through and they definitely are. Whoa! Also, yeah, look at how many are in there and then we'll revisit this. Yeah, there's a lot they're in up there. up to here. And they're probably going to be at least 20 less by the end of this. All right, card. Concordia Pegasus, a 1-3 flyer for two mana. Great limited. We good? Yep. All right. Exposure to Daylight. Three mana. Destroy an artifact or enchantment and scry one. I don't hate this. This mm -mm. is just another in a long line of three mana destroy an artifact or enchantment cards. Like, um, 
invoke. invoke right. Mm -hmm. Instead of gaining four life, you're scrying one. Is that better? Probably not. No. I don't know. It's relevant on your deck. Four life seems a lot stronger than gaining than scrying one. If this was scry two, then we're talking, I think. <laughs> the flavor text on the unicorn? What ma what makes a frog lizard any worse than a bird horse? Prejudice against the Simic. That's what. It's unfair. <laughs> wow, that That's is great. actually a great flavor text. That is pretty good. Forbidding spirit. Can right. we just skip one? No, we skipped over Exposed, oh, exposed Daylight. That's right. Because we had to back up to go mm -hmm. to the Pegasus. Mm -hmm. Forbidding spirit. Spurt. As if you say it fast, it's it's spurt. Forbidden spurt. Uh, three mana for a three three. All right, good rate. Yeah. When it enters the battlefield until your next turn, creatures can't attack you or a planeswalker you control unless they're so. It's just it literally uh, ghostly prisons them for a turn. So. I feel like this card would be a great card in constructed. There's two faults here. This card should have flash. One is you. Yes. Three faults. This card should nice. have flash. You think you, why? Because of the double, the double white mana cost. What is? How does that translate to having flash though? Like they're trying to like to make this card playable. Like, is this card busted if it's got flash? But that's not, so. That's not the. That's a common thing that I hear a lot. Like, Could is this car, is this card broken if it does this? It doesn't. No, it's not. But the goal isn't to to bring when you when you design cards. The goal the goal when you're designing cards isn't to take a card up to its busted level and then just dial it back just as uh, as little as you can in order to make it not busted. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Like, it doesn't need flash just because it wouldn't be busted with flash. My other thought is it should have flying. It's a spirit. I think all spirits, flavor-wise, should have flying. Yeah, flavor fail. For because sure. it just makes you seem like a real shitty spirit. You're just like, well, I, I, they're, they're getting... They're You're not, like... Uh, uh, <laughs> I wish I could be up there, it's but just I'm like... just a real sad spirit that can't fly, I guess. But I think as a three three for three with a with a sweet ability, this is actually pretty good. If there's a way to if there was a way to blink it, that would be pretty cool. Well, there's always ways to blink it. Is there? Fell at our guardians in standard, right? No. You're right. Dang. Hazda officer. This guy's real angry. Three mana for a three two. Uh, <laughs> don't point, buddy. It's real rude. Yeah. He's when it enters battlefield, target creature control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. We've seen this card plenty of times. That's a good aggro aggro, aggro three drop in limited. That's it. The end. Hero of Pre-Saint 1. Hey, do you like this card? This card's busted. This is a 2-2. Two -two. This is a young Pyromancer. 2-2 two -two for 2. <clears throat> except it has an extra point of toughness. Whenever you cast a multicolor spell, create a 1-1 one -one white human creature token. How do you feel about this This card? card's busted. So, so here's your dream scenario. My dream scenario or your dream scenario? Actually, not you because you don't play these style of decks. We don't even know what style of decks you play. <laughs> uh, that, you we play don't even know what decks. you like. You play limited decks. So, you got... Turn one, you play a one drop. Two, one, 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 whatever. I missed. Huh? I missed my eye. That happens. So you play a two, one, right? Turn two, you play hero precinct one. So then you attack for two. Turn three, you play Judith. I don't want to explain. Who's Judith? Judith is someone we haven't seen yet because she's in the Rakdos <sighs> Guild. This is the card Rob was trying to explain to me, but I was like, no, 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 don't spoil it. Oh, God. All right. I think I know who she is. Next. Just go to the next one, man. The card is great, though. This card is this great. This card is busted. This I played it in limited. It made me like three guys yesterday. I would play it in constructed immediately. <laughs> switch, <laughs> switch your eye drops with me, yo. <laughs> Damn. Oh. But last thing about that card, though, is that that card will be a format staple. That that card will define part of the format. I think he's right, uh, especially because the Boros decks were already powerful, and having heroic reinforcements give you a third token that can attack that turn. Uh, is pretty pretty broken. Yeah. Impassioned Order. 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever another creature enters battlefield under your control, you gain a life. This is just a 2-mana Soul Warden. Mm -hmm. So, it's fine. <clears throat> if that deck is looking for another effect like this that doesn't cost 1 mana, then, uh, you know, knock yourself out. Just, 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 I can never say this word. Just, oh, I thought it was just a car. It is, it might be just a car, but that I threw me off. Just, just a typo? Just this year? I don't, no, I don't think it is. Justicar was already uh, um, a term from Magic Cards, but it didn't Justiciar? have an Justiciar? I can't actually pronounce this word. Justiciar. Hold. Justiciar. Justiciar. Nailed it. You nailed it, man. You killed it. I didn't know that. I didn't even... I haven't seen this card till just now, and this card's great. Justiciar. Justiciar. Say it again. Justiciar. All right, calm down. Jeez. This card's great. Justiciar. I, actually, how come that's not? how come that's not showing up on the thing, though? It's weird that the desktop... Oh, I don't think the desktop audio is working correctly. That's unfortunate.
Let's see if that works. Justicia. No, that didn't do it. Anyway. Someone put in, in chat. Justicia. No. Instead of soul sister, they put soul mister. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's All right. Anyway, two mana, exile target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under owner's control against first strike. This is basically like a journey to a journey to nowhere. No, no that's not the, journey to nowhere. Yeah, um, that's otherworldly journey. You don't know that Jeez. one either? God, I'm really showing my age here. Yeah, you are. Oh, what's that from? Uh, Ice Age. Ho <laughs> Homelands. It's from Homelands. Oh, one well. word. <clears throat> Otherworldly. I didn't journey. I'll just look up journey. No, actually, you're, it's not old. You're just making stuff up. Otherworldly journey. Oh, there you go. Two mana. Exile target creature at the beginning of the next end step. Return it to the battlefield. It gets plus one, plus one counter. There's a lot of like blink it immediately cards. Mm -hmm. This one just happens to get first strike. I think it's fine. Yeah. Sometimes there's decks. You wanted a way to blink the other creature. Now you got a way to blink it. Yeah, I know. I'm happy about it. Perfect. Justicia. Knight of Sorrows. This is basically you all the time. <laughs> Three three for five mana. Knight of Sorrow. Rob can block an additional creature each combat and afterlife one. If Rob dies, create a one one. What did you just do? Nothing. Wow, that was like that was like magic right there. <laughs> yeah, this card's whatever. I'll play this in limited. No, I won't. This I've had this in my. You wouldn't play this in limited? No. I mean, it's not overpowered, but uh, it's yeah, a three I three for five. Right. Like yeah, you're right. You're right. It's boop. Like the the the, ex the blocking an extra creature doesn't do anything, and like afterlife one is great, but. Wow, look at this cutie. Lumbering Battlement. Large Mamma Jamma. Five mana for a 4-5. Okay, all right. Vigilance. Okay. When it enters the battlefield, exile any number of other non-token creatures you control until it leaves the battlefield. Oh, it gets plus two, plus two for each card exiled with it? That's interesting. Not even until the end of turn. No, that's forever. forever. So if you exile like three dudes, you have a 10-11. So basically if you have two of these, right, you go off. How do you go off? Because you exile each other. Then your creatures come back. No, that wouldn't work. You would need three. And I'm like, and then what? You would need three. <laughs> but what? What? What's going off entail? You, you'd be able to wipe your entire board, then have them re-enter and, and loop. You can loop the ETB effects. But there's oh, so if I'm saying if you have like ETB effects on your creatures, you can loop them. This is just a loop. Fruit loop. Huh. Loop. I don't I, I I don't know what to make of this card. Like this is a, that was you. Was that me? That was exactly. Tell him it was exactly like. Tell him it was him. <laughs> tell him. No, this card isn't great or anything like that. But but this this card seems good with Prime Speaker. Like that's a fetchable target that seems kind of nice. You're a fetchable target, and I'm kind of nice. Loop. Ministrant of Obligation, 2-1 for 3 with Afterlife 2. This card's great. I played this in Limited the other day. I don't know if I would play this in uh, in Constructed, but it definitely did some work in Limited. If there is an Aristocrats deck, then this is the this is a perfect Lingering lingering Souls. Prowling Caracal. That's a cat. That's a big-ass cat. 3-1 <laughs> for 2. This is basically Dino Raptor and it does nothing. It's cool art, though. I mean, it's a cat. I'll look, look at my cat. Rally to battle. Four mana. Creatures you control plus one, plus three until end of turn. Untap them. I'm good. Yeah, that's bad. I mean, when you want an effect like this, you want it to be offensive, not defensive. And giving them plus three toughness is like, <clears throat> this card you're using to help you block against the more aggressive deck. And I'm just like, that's not where you want to be with a four mana, like, combat trick. Oh, here it is. Here he is. Oh, you like that? Resolute Watchdog. One mana for a one three. What, did it do really good for you or something? No, it's just a really sad, like, he's a good boy. He is a great boy, but you I, I felt felt like you were building towards something. There's a lot of memes. There's a lot of there's a lot of magic memes about this card because he's such like a what? good boy. You haven't seen the memes? None. I've, heard, I've seen zero. Please hold. Oh, man. I gotta find it. Someone link us to the memes. This is embarrassing. It's not. Here you go. This. Oh. This is this is tear jerking, man. Oh god, that's not what I'm here for. Well, this is what you're gonna get, my dude. You ready? I'm gonna I'm just gonna insert it in here so we can all see it. You brought this just remember guys, Rob brought this on us. Meme. Can they see this? No. They can see this though. <laughs> There you go. I'll put it over here for you. No. <laughs> yep. There you go. I'm 
told you were the best. Was that a good boy? No, I'm told you were the best. I don't get it. Is he? Does he have a little halo? Yeah, the dog is in heaven. It's time to go. He's telling the dog it's time to go because he just died. I got that. Now he's sacrificing. The dog himself. says, "Was I a good boy?" Death says, "No." I'm told you were the best boy. That's so cute. It's heartbreaking. No, it's lovely. It's really not. Maybe they were gonna I can't maybe actually. They were gonna float. I, this is the first time, and it's because I've had to explain it to you. This is the first time I haven't cried after reading this. You're welcome. I don't. Nope. I'm glad I could do that for you. Yeah, we're done. Rob has never loved a dog. It's true. He's actually I, a monster. I own a nine-month-old dog that I love. Yeah. And then when when someone's like, you were the best boy, he'd be like, I don't get it. I don't understand. I didn't get it because they're saying you were the best, but why does he have to stay in hell? Why does he have to stay with death? He's not in hell. Death brings everyone. Brings brings people to heaven. Brings okay, people to hell. so maybe I do you just think someone, the Do meme. you think someone differently brings someone to heaven and they bring them to hell? To, like, there's two different people who bring, like, death only brings you to hell? I don't know, man. I've never been there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Well, it's a weird assumption to make. That's all I'm saying. Have you ever had a dog die? I grew, I've grown up with dogs. I had dogs all my life. So I guess you're just desensitized to it then. No, I'm not. I love pups. You don't have to yell. The first... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. <laughs> Whenever I talk about pups, I just get so... Clearly you I, don't. I can't hold myself. A one, <laughs> a one three for one with Defender. Sacrifice Resolute Watchdog because he's a good boy. Target creature you control against indestructible until end of turn. That's a tear right there. It's fake. I know. I yawned earlier. It's been sitting there. Sentinel's Mark. Two mana. Flash. That's good because it's like a combat trick. Enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus one, plus two, and has Vigilance. However, here's an addendum to this card. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it during your main phase, Enchanted Creature gains lifelink until end of turn. This card's great and limited. Awesome. All The whole cycle is. I didn't know this was even a cycle. Yeah, this is a cycle. Okay, take it easy. Triangle man, triangle man, doing the things oh. a triangle can. Doesn't, uh, did you ever watch Dragon Ball Z when you were growing up? I watched it when I was an adult. You're like, does that count? I, I watched it earlier today. <laughs> I watched it probably a couple years back. Doesn't TN shoot like a little triangle beam? All right, next one. Sky Tether, one mana, enchant creature, and lose has defender and loses flying. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, this is good for one mana. Rule. There was one in uh, guilds. What was it? Oh, actually, this is just this is the opposite. Now that I think about it, the one in guilds was one one white mana creature they can't block. I think they can't block and they lose abilities. Yeah, that was a completely different card. They can still attack you. They just can't yeah, block. Yeah, yeah. Now that I look at it, I'm that saying... That one's for the aggressive deck. This is for the opposite. defensive yeah, deck. Yeah, literal opposite. It's literally... It's literally... And also, it's like it's nice because they lose flying. Yeah. So when you're playing this in your control deck, they can't block your flyers. So that's oh. kind of cool. I mean, or any deck for that matter. Smothering Tithe. This is what Rob does. Spit out coins? Well, the smothering part. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Whenever an opponent draws a card, that player may pay two mana. Two mana. If the player doesn't, you may create a colorless... It's not even may. You just create a colorless treasure artifact token. What if you don't want it? Yeah, it's too bad. Then you just get to sacrifice it. Um, what do you think about this? It's four mana is a lot, dude. This is if like, this costs two or three, again, maybe. But like four... To not even... Like this means on, on turn four, you're going to play this. On turn five, you're going to get your first clue. Or treasure, whatever whatever artifact it's making. Clue would be great. I don't think this card's any good at all. Like, this is like the revel and riches of the set, where it's like the card's got a cool effect, but it's garbage. It's probably like... It's like what Nick says, like, so good with draw sevens in EDH cube, because, like, yeah, this is great, where, like, if you're playing, like, something like Time Twister, you're going to get, like, seven extra mana, which is insane. Yeah, or you, like, Wheel of Fortune, you're... Like, right. Everybody, that's pretty cool, actually. But... This card can be played in Commander. If this is like just a one for one game where I'm gonna maybe get one one treasure a turn, it's kinda like just not worth it to start a turn four. That art's pretty cool though, right? Oh, the art's great. <gasps> Spirit of the Spires. Four mana for a two four flyer, other creatures you control with flying get plus O plus one. This is not terrible. My opponent yesterday had two of these against me, and that was kind of frustrating. And then it's like I can't attack at all. I lost that game. Did you? I did. I mean, you're not going to play this in Constructed, though. Like, no. for four mana, I'll, I'll just pay one more and play a Lyra. I wouldn't, you wouldn't even play this if it was three. <laughs> Correct. But look at this. Well, a 2-4 flyer for three is pretty good. You don't know, man. What do you think of Summary Judgment? Two mana. It deals three damage to a tapped creature. If you cast it during your main phase, it deals five damage instead. This deals with a lot. Yeah, but the problem with this card is this card is like, um, this is like the red-headed stepchild of 
of removal spells. Like, there's always some in every set, and it reminds me of, like, Gideon's Reproach, where the card just seems good, but there's just always better options. Like, what, though? What would you say the better option is for in standard? Well, in what colors? What style? In white. You're playing white. What is a better option in a white deck than this? I'd rather play the two white mana and Chittering Rats, a creature. It, that that's that's really that, that's they're just getting rid open, of the creature. That's such an open ended question, right? It depends on what kind of deck you're playing. Like if I have, if they have a chain roller, you would rather put the chain roller on top of their deck than get rid of it. Obviously not in that scenario. Well, right, but I'm trying to I'm talking about a removal spell. We have a removal spell. We're trying to kill a creature. What's a better way to do it than this? Seal away. Seal away. That's good. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. One spirit of the Frank Buck. He's not fl he's not flying. I can actually make that bigger. I bet because we're not we're not. He's actually not even he's not even sitting in a chair right now. He's literally just floating. I told you not to tell people about my floating secret. My foot is underneath him. Syndicate Messenger. Four mana for a two three flying. <sighs> Afterlife one. Yeah, this is fine. I play this in limited, but not in constructed ever. Is that like a long necked thing? Or? It's a long necked thing, yeah. That's a, that is a long that is one long neck thing. Kinda cool, right? You're kinda cool. I'd play this in limited. I would play you in limited. Mm. I don't fly. Mm. Yet. <laughs> Yet. Never give up on your dreams, okay? Uh -huh. 10th District Veteran. Three mana for a dose trace with vigilance. Whenever it attacks, untap another target creature you control. I like it in limited if there was, um, like, um, with abilities that you want to use, like, within combat. Like my Is It Static Caster? I can, I can mow down your team? Yeah, just that one. You can mow down the team. Just mow them down one point at a time. All right, I will. Broke neck chicken. All right. Is that a? <laughs> is that this guy? <laughs> oh, BNC. B <laughs> what do you think of Tithe Taker? Two one for two. During your turn, spells your opponent's cast cost one more to cast, and abilities your opponent's activate cost one more to activate unless they're mana abilities. So, like, Force of Will costs one more. Days costs one more, and it has Afterlife one tacked on, which is pretty sweet. This card's great. I mean, but I don't, I don't see it doing anything. I don't. I don't think that this will be played in standard. I mentioned like a bunch of legacy cards though. Yeah. What is that? I don't know what you're... Next. Really? I mean, the, the card is great, right? Like on its surface. You don't think of like death and taxes, this card's going to... No. Oh my God. You were being serious. No. Why? Thalia is just better. Thalia doesn't stop other things like Rashad and Ports and... Uh, what do you call it? Um... Aether Vials, Dark Depths, like, activating Thespian Stages. Like, making their activated abilities cost one more is pretty sizable. I guess I, I guess that's true. I, I underestimate that half of the card. But I, I don't know. What is it removing? Like, what It also you, doesn't stop your abilities. What are, so you, like, what are your... you taking out for this? And, and it's also during your turn. I mean, I guess that's... That's where I cast my things, man. That's true. Anyway, also, you can have multiples of this. You can't have multiple Thalias. Like, if you had two of these guys in play... That's pretty good, actually. Now when you say that. Plus, Afterlife 1 is not nothing. Like No, no, no. Having a flyer. Anyway, I'm just trying... We gotta, we gotta cover all the bases here, right? Yeah, you, you actually hit the nail on the head. Having multiples of this makes this card pretty busted. Or playing this with Phantasmal Image. Like, that seems very good. He's not legendary. Oh, Phantasmal Image, actually, you'd get the Afterlife token as well. Yeah. Look at this. There are so many cats in this set. Twilight Panther, one mana for a one two that gets death touch until end of turn. This is literally just Mardu <laughs> Hateblade, right? Uh, do you remember that guy? Is that guy too old for you? <laughs> That's cons. It's gotta be cons, right? It's it, called Mardu Hateblade. Yes. It's literally a one one for one, gains death touch until end of turn. This, this is one's better. A, this one doesn't die to static caster. Wow. Yeah, the cat is better, and it's a cat, so isn't that just makes it automatically better? This actually looks like someone took a pit bull's body and slammed it. It does not look it. like it looks like a really ripped cat, and it's I'm uncomfortably like it looks. It's uncomfortably ripped. This cat. It is. It yeah. looks like a pit bull. That's what I say about you. You look like a pit bull. I get told that a lot. Or a bulldog. Do you really? Yeah. Unbreakable formation. How many? Four. Okay. Three mana creatures you control gain indestructible and inferior. Okay, not terrible. If you cast this during your main phase, put a 1-1 counter on each of those creatures and they gain Vigilance. That's actually not bad. I see this as a 2-of and a sideboard of an aggro deck that is trying to beat Kaya's Wrath. I like that you can save your creatures or you can just use it as... A, like, this is... The versatility of being yeah. a pump 
uh, or a save. A pump or a save is pretty good. It's actually not even a pump or a save. It's a save or a pump and a save. Because you still get this, you still get the front half of the indestructible effect. The problem is it doesn't dodge settle the wreckage, but very few things do. So it's really. I don't hard think to... settle the wreckage is going to be played much, at least not till the format settles. So oh, that <laughs> was not intentional. <laughs> not until the format settles the wreckage. Um, isn't it both? Yes, it is both. So I just played a deck recently, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. It was like the Saproling deck, and we put two make a stands in it because we were looking for that kind of effect. We were looking for an effect that got around like sweltering suns or fiery cannonade. And this would actually be perfect because not only does it like make a stand gives you plus one plus zero until end of turn, this one gives you plus one plus one permanently, and it still saves you from those effects. So this would be a great replacement for that card in that deck. Whoa, that's one large man. <laughs> Did you get shocked? Yeah, that dude's huge. Watchful giant, six mana for a three six. When watchful giant enters the battlefield, make a one one. That's terrible. Large man, though. And we're on the blue. Wow. So, as far as white cards that you think will uh, see play and make an impact, what what are you thinking? We should have kept a list, shouldn't we? Are we usually... We, we were, I was going to do that and then because we did it last time, and then I forgot. So, the angel, obviously. Angel of Grace. I'm just going to go all the way back to the beginning, and then we're just going to go slowly through it. There's only 30 cards, so... Really? Yeah, there's 30 of every color. Angel of Grace. All right, let's see what else we got here. Nope. Nope. You like Archway Angel, but I don't think... I think it's good for... It's a niche card in one deck. I don't think yeah, it's a... No, no, no. It's definitely not something It's not like a constructed staple. Bring a trial? I don't think so. We're talking so. about constructed, right? Yes. Uh, Forbidding Spirit could be good. I mean, I think the... I... Nope. You don't think so? No. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to agree to disagree, my friend. Nope. I don't want to agree. Hero of Pre-Saint 1. Is this guy good? This one's enough for the entire list. Uh, Nope. I don't know about Lumbering Battlement. It seems really interesting. If the effect, Ministrant I'm on the fence about. If the effect allowed everything to come back immediately, like it was just uh, an exile effect and then it returns to the battlefield, that's different, but not not like that. Not like this. Not like that. Tithe Taker? I think Tithe Taker You sold is. me on that card. <clears throat> I just think, but you're, I think the fact is it's a 2-1 two, for 2 and you're not losing anything by playing it. Mm -hmm. Unbreakable Formation. I like that. Like. Yeah. We're also overextending here, isn't it? Sad, like we just went through thirty. We went through an entire column, and we were like, we we're like, we okay, five we, cards, maybe we can get five out of probably here. Probably two. Right, like I think a lot of these are. If you forbidding spirit, I'm gonna take off. Thank you. All right, you got it. Okay, put the good boy on the list. He's not gonna make it. I'm sorry. All right, now up to the blue. We got Arrestor's Admonition. Three mana. Return target creature to its owner's hand. If you cast it during your turn, draw a card. Benthic Biomancer. Like, the problem with this is, like, you have cards like Repulse, which do the same thing, but they always let you draw the card. So, like... <clears throat> the other one's just better. The two-mana one. The Into the Royal. The standard Into the mm. Royal. Uh, what's it called? Blink. Yeah, Blink. Blink of an Eye. Blink of an Eye. That's yeah. just better. Benthic Biomancer. One blue for a 1-1 one, one with Adapt 1. Me and Ollie talked about how absolutely miserable this card is, right? I I'm trying to figure out the silver lining. I'm trying to figure out, like, why this card is so bad or if I'm, like, missing something, right? It's a 1-1 one, one for 1, so it fits in the Merfolk deck you, as your 1-drop. Is it better than Curse Catcher? No. No. Jesus, no. Okay, take Not it easy. Close. I was just making a point. I was, it was rhetorical. Oh, It well, wasn't a real question. Well, I was I was supporting you fully. Whenever one or more 1-1 one, one counters are put on this, draw a card, then discard a card. So you're going to pay 2 mana, and you're going to make it a 2-2, two, two, and you're going to not even... You're going to loot. I'm trying to, like, figure out what I'm missing. Like, it costs three mana for a 2-2 two -two that loots. What's confusing about it? How bad it is. How is that? Why is that confusing? We just went through 30 cards of an entire <laughs> color, and we found two. Because it doesn't seem this like it's rare. Just... It doesn't seem like it's a rare ability. It seems like this is an uncommon ability. Un yeah, I agree. I don't know, man. It's terrible. The, they're probably just looking at it at the rate of it's literally a one mana that has the potential to be a 2-2. Two -two. Chillbringer. Five mana for a flyer, a 3-3. Three, three. When it comes into play, you can tap a dude, and it doesn't untap during turn, turn their next... Your head, turn your head a little bit. Other way, other way. Your glasses look too small for you when it's looking at you from that angle. There you go, right there. Those are so black, man. Your black runs deep. <laughs> <laughs> your black runs deep. Oh, boy. Uh, anyway, Chillbringer, five mana for a 3-3. Three, three. Cool. 
Mm -hmm. I'll play it unlimited. It's a flyer. It's a 3D flyer. Target player shuffles a graveyard into the library draw card. This card actually frightens me. I uh, <laughs> I hate this card with a passion. What? One thing that a lot of the constructed control decks want. I don't know why we're going. What is happening? There we go. We are not there yet. Um, one thing a lot of the control decks want in situations like this is ways to just shuffle their graveyard into the library. There's definitely situations where the control decks just go through so many cards that they're like, oh man, I'm losing. I, I have no way. I need to draw all my counter spells back. That's a win con. That's also a win con for, for a control deck. If you're milling, you mean because you're milling yeah. them out? Yeah. Right, but <laughs> the chill <laughs> <laughs> that was actually perfect timing. Yes, but I, my point is that I hate the the formats where the control decks win by simply just grinding. That's your, not gonna like happen. you have to draw your entire deck with that three mana. Well, we haven't gotten there yet. We'll talk about it. Later. Oh my god! But that's not gonna happen. Anyway, this card's elixir of immortality was a staple in control decks when it's when it's during its time, and this is instead of gaining five, you draw a card, which is better. It, it's it's at least equal in you know on the scale of like what you want to do. Code of Constraint. Three mana. Target creature gets a negative four, negative Ozil under turn. Draw a card. If you cast this, tap that creature. It doesn't untap during your next... During their next untap phase. This card's good. In control... In Constructed? No. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. It's oh. a Coral Commander. It's commando. a Coral Commando. It's three mana. It's a three-two. That's it. It's your boy. The Coral Commando. This card's interesting to me. Is it better than Essence Scatter? No. In a mono blue deck. In a mono blue deck, it is. So maybe the thing that scares me is that the mono blue tempo deck gets to play this, and then they get to play, like, put plus one plus one counters on their creatures that were already obnoxious as it is. This card's great. The card's I mean, fine, it, yeah. It, but it's it's literal, It's just nothing but garbage unless you're playing mono blue. Hmm. In any sort of control deck, you're just going to play Essence Scatter instead of this, but in any sort of tempo-based deck that has... A heavy concentration of blue. You're definitely going to play this. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, turning a two-two. Uh, it's just an essence scatter with upside. Yeah, the two-two Merfolk the that taps a dude down, and then turning into a three-three is extremely relevant. Like that extra point's relevant. Eyes everywhere. Three mana at the beginning of your upkeep. Scry one. That I like that already. That's Thassa. That is Thassa. Six mana. Exchange control of eyes everywhere and target non-land permanent. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. What do you think about this card? I think... If I they're not running blue... Oh, I just realized they can use it. Yes. If they're not running blue, though, you exchange this and with like their best it. card, yeah. and then they can never give it back. The effect is super cool, but it's not usable in standard and constructed. I could see this as a fun card to have if you play commander for fun. Like, this is super cool in commander. It gives you a lot of play. Like, there's a lot of play that's associated with this card. Like, you're giving it to someone, they're giving it to someone else. Yeah, but I, I don't think you can play this in standard. This six mana is way too much. Right, but it's just a three mana scry. Like, you scry every turn, which is worth it over time. And you just get to sit on it until you... Like, if you have this on board, they have to change the entire way they play the game. Because they know at any time you can take their best thing. You know what's pretty cool? Tell me. If you play a Search for Ascanta into this... Like, let's say you're on the play. Wow, that's a lot of card filtering. Yeah, let's say you're on the play, right? And they don't play a one drop. They're playing a green a green aggro deck. And they don't play a, an, an oppressive one drop that's attacking you. And you go search for Escanta in the eyes for everywhere. That's kind of funny. That's a lot. Like, that will win you those games. Because that, that loots you down to your removal spells or your board wipes. That's kind of cool. This card's cool. I just think, like, I think it's... If you took it... As just a three mana enchantment that lets you scry every turn, I think it's decent because scrying every single turn is powerful. Like that's an that's an oh yeah, yeah over the course of a game that's a strong ability. Oh yeah, but the fact that you're like you can exchange control of this with like one of their planeswalkers. Scrying is argu argu arguably card advantage, right? Also, here's another thing: you could exchange this with someone, get like their planeswalker, mm -hmm. and then just blink Ultimate this it. blink this at the end of their turn mm. and just get it back. That's true. Like this card, I think this card is very strong. Do we have a way to blink an enchantment, though? With blink of an eye. Oh, yeah, yeah. You mean... Uh, when you say... No, no, no. I don't mean blink it yeah, as in, yeah, like... Yeah. No, no. I mean blink of an eye. Literally, like, bounce hand. it to your hand. Yeah. So you get to replay it. If I want this effect, I'll, pl I'll always play treasure map over it. You mean the scry effect? They're, those are two fundamentally different cards. Right. You, you, and you can't just... You... Treasure map also commits you to a mana every single turn. Yeah. Whereas, like... Teferi Tuck. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, I think these are also two different two different cards. Like, I don't think they're fulfilling the same the same roles. 
Fairy Duelist. One, two for two. Flash. It's got Flash, though. You love cards with Flash. No, I don't. Oh, I thought you did. And Flying. When it enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls gets negative two, negative zero until end of turn. It's got some sweet art. I do like that. Like the, <laughs> <laughs> the stab you in the eye. <sighs> Gateway Snick. This is a poor poor man's John Fink, uh, John Finkel. Oh, is it a bad Demir, uh, Dem- a bad Shadow Mage Infiltrator? Yeah. Opponent does get to scry after the exchange, though. That is correct. But you're still stealing like their best card. Yeah, it's so. like I'll trade. You can scry the next three turns while I plus your Vivian Reed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you can steal the Vivian Reed and then destroy and then the just... enchantment with Vivian Reed. Or destroy with Vraska. Like, the point is you can take one of their Planeswalkers and then, like, get rid of the Planeswalker and destroy this card in, in response, which is very, very valuable. <laughs> uh, whenever a gate enters the battlefield, under your control, Gateway Sneak can't be blocked this turn. So you play a Gateway, they can't be blocked. And it's, yeah, it's not terrible. In the gate deck, it's not terrible. I don't know if I'd play it. I wouldn't. <laughs> Humungulus. This is you, right? This is me! This is... Swole, swole fibble thip. This is my baby. Five mana for a 2 5 hex proof. Wait a minute. I just realized his stats. I've never looked beyond the picture. He's a 2 5? That's so bad. Is it? He should be a 5 2. Look know. at him. He's so at. He, his, his upper body's ripped, not his legs. He should be a 5 2. <laughs> do you think the toughness represents the legs yes. and the, the, the power represents the upper body? Why do you think tree body? folk have such large, large toughnesses? Because the, the trunks are their legs? Yeah. I think this is really explaining a lot of your tree, uh, your understanding of uh, trees right now. <laughs> Grandpa, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. This is nice. This is a good... I, I like that we're going into the to, some botany here. Can, hold on. Can you go back? Sure. I just love... I love looking at this card. Well, that's weird. That's such a funny card. How mad would he be if you poked that dude in the eye? How mad would anyone be if you poked them in the eye? I'm not. I would have. Do you think was, this that guy was a gets segue do you straight think, into an eye poke? But you just got surgery. Appreciate. I it. wasn't gonna go there. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for not poking you're, me in my my recently surgeried <laughs> eyes. <You're> re- <laughs> oh my god. Mass manipulation. XX blue 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 blue. That's a lot, but this card is strong. Gain control of X target creatures and or planeswalkers. We went over this on the podcast as well. I think. Um, Probably because he was playing it. Oh, yeah, 100%. Well, that's not why. I think we went over it, and then he was like, yes, I'm definitely going to play this card. So if you look at the rate on here, it's very strong, right? So two, if you want to take take two creatures and or planeswalkers, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight mana, which is four mana per creature, which is a good deal. Most control magics, in the old days, control magic cost four. So you're gonna you're not going to get away with anything less than four anyway. And uh, modern control magics cost between six and seven. If you want to take three things, it only costs ten. And I know ten is a lot, but stealing like two planeswalkers and a creature for ten mana is pretty strong. <laughs> Sorry. What am I missing? Uh, because when you're explaining cards, I'm trying to keep up on chat in case there was things that were... So okay. I was laughing at a comment from chat. I'm sorry. Okay. I couldn't hold it in. Drug dealer Mike is aggressive. No, I was laughing at the comment that says, look at, I love the old guy in the background with his scrolls looking at the, like, what the f- is that? Who? Where? The fibble tip in the background of the humongous, I'm guessing. There's an old man. Oh, Seriously, this guy is like, like, what the f- <laughs> Not in my town. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. I think that that card's no good. Like, I, that's, You don't think mass manipulation is good? No way. It's funny because, like, if you're get to, if you playing a control deck and you just, like, go land, go, land, go, land, go. I think I look at a lot of decks in the context of, like, grindy control decks. But aren't, if you're playing that deck, aren't you trying to remove the cards you'd be stealing with this, though? You're spending all your turns to build to eight mana by removing all their threats. Neon Tokyo gifting ten subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really oh, appreciate it. You are a boss. No, the Muse of Castamere? That's a great name. That's a great name. You don't like it? I like it. I think you're a dummy. Got him. <laughs> I like this card. Ah, oh, I knew you would. <laughs> Mesmerizing Benthid. Five mana for a 4-5. It is a mythic. An octopus. Did you just eat the... A little bit. Hmm. A little bit. When it enters the battlefield, create two O2 blue illusion creature tokens with... Whenever this creature blocks a creature, that creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. So you got an O2. If the O2 blocks, it's going to tap down their guy. Detains, yep. Uh, Ms. Mary Beth has Hexproof as long as you control an illusion. So it doesn't have to be the tokens, but it could be. This card's cool. It's not busted or anything like that, but it's cool effect. 
I just feel like four five for five is just not a super high power level. No, it's not at all. And like it doesn't have any sort of evasion. Mm -mm. So it just kind of sits there. If they have a five five, you're just like, well, I can't really get past this. The thing, the th the way you look at this card is you look at it and you go, what deck is this going in? Like, what is it doing for me? And I don't know. I don't either. But you said you liked it because it's a cool card. Okay. I think it's powerful. I have no idea where it fits, and I have no idea like what it beats. What if it? What if instead of when they block, what if it was you could? They had the effect sacrifice it. Target creature doesn't untap. That would be a cooler way to build to make these make this card. Oh, so you can like choose a different creature. Yeah, 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 yeah. Think like a uh, drowner, drowner of hope. The scions, you sack a scion. See, Drowner of Hope was legit. Yeah, I know. And that guy wasn't even a mythic. He was just a rare. So yeah. six mana for a 5-5, five, five, and it made 2-1-1. One, one. So it was a 7-7, seven, seven, essentially. 7-7 seven, seven worth of power and toughness. This is 4-9 worth of power and toughness. No, my, my point was I was trying to, to say, when I was trying to say imagine it with the ability from Drowner, where the ability was you can sacrifice an illusion. To, to tap a guy. To tap, no, it doesn't untap a guy, though. The same effect as this one. This effect doesn't tap anything. It oh, just so it detains it. Right. Because it, is, it assumes you're you're going to tap. It's going to be tapped. Blocking. Because you're blocking. Right. Yeah. Went on a tangent there. I'm yeah, sorry. I don't know. Like, if this is, like, unblockable. It's like, if this said it's unblockable as long as you control an illusion, I'd be like, mm, that's pretty good. Maybe you should have Island If it Walk. had flying. Island Walk, I don't even consider. No, I know. I don't even consider that evasion. That's the only reason I said it. I mean, I feel like all octopuses should have Island Walk. True. Technically. Another flavor fail. Persistent Petitioners. Two mana for a 1-3. Uh -huh. Target player puts the top card of their library into their graveyard. Ooh, mill one. Tap four untapped advisors you control. Target player puts the top 12 cards of the library into their graveyard. Holy smokes. How are we accelerating into these? Uh, into our advisors? Yes. You just cast them. Like, this is two our mana. Petitioners. Well, you can, it's any advisor, not just the petitioner. So you can find oh. other advisors in standard. We need to look at that. A deck can have any number of cards named persistent petitioners. Wow. Can, do you want to do a gather search or you want me to do it on my phone? I'd like to, I, just out of curiosity, I'd like to see, see how See if there's advisors. any constructed worthy advisors in the format. I already know the answer to that question. I just want to know if they <laughs> exist. <laughs> I know there's no good ones. Yeah, Thrumming, Thrumming Stone is the real deal with this card. That's kind of funny. Um, modern. Standard. Mm-hmm. We're not looking at modern. No, 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 because I was talking about Thrumming Stone. No, no, no. Nee, nee. Wait, why didn't it look for... Did I... you type in? I did, but I guess I have to actually click it and, like, confirm it. Hmm. Do, 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 do. There are two advisors in standard. Ah. One is Tasa Karlo Karlov, the other, uh, another rare from this set. It doesn't so. even interact with it, either. Yeah, except for that you can tap it. The dream is dead. The dream is dying. It's dead. That's a cool card, though. Precognitive Perception. Five mana, draw three cards at instant speed. I am a big fan of this card. I'm, I'm a big fan of any five mana, draw three card. It's cool. I don't think it's great. <clears throat> That's what I kind of say about you, though. I think he's cool. I don't think he's great. Yeah. There's if like you a... <laughs> so, yeah, it's a scale. If you Always cast a spell during your main phase, instead scry three, then draw three cards, which is pretty strong. Oh, that's seeing six cards? Heck yeah. Do you have to go meet someone in a corner? No, no, no. It's fine. That okay. was my work fun, though. That's why I asked. Okay. Prying eyes. And then, like, we just... We go right up from the from the previous one to this one. The where five it's like, mana spell. Draw four cards, then discard two. Oh. So you net one fewer cards, and you pay one more mana. Interesting. I'm going to keep going. I like that. What's better, this or careful consideration? Uh, careful consideration, 100%, right? It, I, I it costs two less. Wait, no, no, no. Careful consideration is the one mana one, I thought. No. One mana, draw three, discard three. Or draw yeah. two, discard two. No, that's careful study. Oh, sorry. Careful consideration is four mana from Time Spiral. Uh, it's draw four cards, discard two. If you play it during your turn, it's draw four cards, discard one. Mm. So you net three. There was a blue draw spell that you could pay four man five mana to draw three cards. I think it was draw three, discard one, and you untap two lands. That was recent. I remember playing that card. I like that card. Careful, careful. It's 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 actually close because careful is one less mana, but you net one fewer cards. But you see one more card, right? So you're netting two cards out of out of the top four for four mana. However, if you want to, you could draw three cards with careful for four mana. Whereas this is always you're always going to get three cards for this. It's always going to cost five. I don't know. That's it's tough. It's definitely this card is unbel this card's unbelievable to me. I love this card. I don't think this card should exist. This I card think this card's going to be a mistake. Oh, just it's like not Delver that. Was. It's not that op. No, no way. Disagree. 
This is gonna cost one blue to make a five five. It's gonna be a two blue five five. Tell me why. I just I just did. Oh, you didn't give me a chance to say it before you started talking again. I didn't want to cut you off. It was rude. Huh. Thanks for telling me. No, nah, this you think in standard? This no, I'm cool. not. This is not a standard card. No, I agree. That's why. I'm, okay, okay, so what? Two mana five fives. They already exist for one mana. Right. So you're just giving them more. But this flies. That's a big difference. You can't chump block it with a lot of things. <sighs> you can chump block with. Trust me, I'm the first person to play cards like this. And I mean, at least Gurmag Angler, I can block with Death Shadow. I can block with a token. I can block with a Tarmogoyf. Like I can, I can do those things. <sighs> But like this card being a five five flyer is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, Andrea Mangucci put a, a list up of a blue red way to like turbo this out, like a blue red Delver style, yeah. style deck Delver burn. It just seemed super good. Like, I'm sure it is. Yeah, because your the deck is already good by itself, and then you just have like this yeah. five five flyer instead. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. It dies to fatal push, sure, but like <clears throat> I'm actually playing. I'm trying to play this in standard right now. This too. Quench, really? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, actually, Quench is good. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. It takes place of, uh, it's a crappy version of... It's uh, Rune Snag, but, like, it's a, it's Rune Snag assuming that there's no Rune Snags in any graveyards. I was talking in the standard context, the uh, the old one, Sensor. Yeah, I guess it is it, probably Sensor. It's crappy I mean, the, version of Sensor. Two mana is still a lot to pay, so a lot of times you're just going to counter a spell. It's standard, so everything's generally played on curve in the first place. Mind if I tell a fairly long story? I mean, yeah, go for it. I mean... We may not read it. We may not. Yeah, we may not have time to really focus on we'll it. We'll glance in that direction. Whenever you see us look this way, that's where Chad is. Sage's Row Savant, two mana for a two-one. It enters the battlefield. Scry two. Uh, only decent if there was some sort of way to pair it with Naban because it's a wizard. Other than that, it's okay. Let's move. Oh, look at this little cutie bird. Three mana for a one-four flyer. It gains vigilance until end of turn. Oh God, cutie bird! Can't you do any better than this? It looks like uh, what's his name's bird. Actually, Harry Potter. Yeah. All right. I love Harry Potter. I have to sneeze. <coughs> there we go. All right. Whew, looked nice. right in those lights to get down out. Shimmer of possibility. Two mana. Look at the top four cards of your of your robbery. Uh, put one of them into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. They, this is a punt. It should be in your graveyard. This is just impulse for for for, for sorcery speed instead of. This uh, is a punt. Instead of imp instant speed. Yeah. This you, should be put him in your graveyard. You're a punt. I am. Got him. Uh, what do you think? Does this just a playable? No. I think it's still... You don't think this is playable? <laughs> no. I mean, if anticip is Anticipate legal right now? I think it is. Yeah, it 100% is legal right now. Yeah, this is not going to see play. Skatewing Spy, another unplayable card, but this is busted and limited. Uh, two, three, four, four. Uh, each creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it has flying... <laughs> Yeah, this card was a blowout yesterday. I would have like four. I would have three threes with plus one plus one counters on them, so they're four fours. Mm -hmm. And then I would just attack. I would just play this, and then all of a sudden I had like multiple four four flyers. Yeah, that's dumb. Yeah, this card was bonkers. This card. This card actually seems pretty good. So I literally opened my first sealed pool of the new set today. This and this card I looked at. I was like, this is actually pretty good. I mean, on rate, it's like a three three for four, yep. and then I, you can make it a five it five. A five five. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. That's relevant. Slime bind. Uh, this card seems great. This is what I was talking about. The series. There's a whole. There's one of each set. One of each color. The flash enchantments. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two mana for a flash enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets negative four, negative zero. This is probably constructible as well. What do you think threw all that slime at him? Uh, it's it was probably your mom. Yeah. Yeah, because she's pretty slimy. A uh, pretty slimy woman. Pretty slimy. Yeah. Not what? anymore. Right, she got rid of most of it. She just removed all of it. This was from her desliming. Yes. So yeah, that makes sense. Actually, I, I understand. Yes. Um, you can. I mean, constructed. Your thoughts? No. Uh, that's silly. You think that this is going to be played in constructed? Cards like this have histor historically seen play in constructed. Yeah, sensory deprivation has seen play. Um, the other one that was neg three, neg zero, saw play. There was a card that was like uh, negative x, negative zero, and they all had flash, and they were all enchantments. Uh, they're great ways for blue to stabilize a board. Okay. Because a lot of times you'll have a card like this for, with Flash, no less, uh, that does the same thing. Okay. And, and, and as I, a removal spell. You know what's funny is I should be the I should be the one telling you that this card should be played actually because it's a Flash enchantment in blue. So I I, I will try this. Either uh, either meltdown. That's different. That synergized with card draw. That what that card that card was pushed over the top because it allowed you to draw cards. Yes, but it still saw play for the same reason. You still needed that effect. <clears throat> I know what either meltdown is. Man. I'm not looking up either meltdown. Relax. Take I'm it relaxed. easy, chief. I'm relaxed. Let me take. I'm gonna take this. Okay. Take your call. 
Yes. Wow. No, no. No, no he's fine. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, I'm trying to find the other one that was negative X, negative zero. Does anybody know what that one was off the top of their head? Yes. Flash. No, no. Yes. Hold. Yes. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, you're in Rome? That's sweet. I was in Rome a I year was, ago. I was in Rome once. Twice, actually. Ah, you're right. It was twice. Spontaneous mutation. One mana flash. Enchanted creature gets negative X, negative zero, where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. That That's card's right. awesome. Right. All these cards did the same thing, right? Like, it's they all cost one or two mana, and they neutered a... It's like, captures... Nah, kind of not captures here. That was four mana. But there were definitely cards, like, Encase and Ice was another one where you could just get rid of... They're just blue enchantments that get rid of creatures in the same way. <laughs> this is like one of those Gordon Ramsay memes. What's between the phones? <laughs> An idiot sandwich. Sphinx of Foresight. Four <laughs> mana for a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, scry one. Flying. I know how you feel about that. And if you may reveal this card from your hand, from your opening hand, if you do scry three at the beginning of your first upkeep. What do you think about this They card? should have made this a whole series. Like, there should have been like that. Like the Chancellors? Yes, exactly. Like the Chancellors. Is this card playable? No. You don't think Sphinx of Force is playable? No. Nope. Interesting. In what format? Standard, obviously. I don't think Kidding, it's unplayable in all of them. Joke's on you. I'd play this in Limited. Yeah, you would. Okay, I would play a Limited, too. Don't drink that. I'm not. Okay. However, there are no preservatives in it, so. Oh. <sighs> no, that's not. Isn't that funny that that's how powerful the threats have to be in your blue deck? If you have two of these in your opening hand, you get to scry six. You're keeping, like, four of the cards anyways. Hmm. Like, do you really need to scry six? Do I need to? No. Do I want to? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I like this card. I think there's no real downside to playing it. Like, it makes the beginning of your game, like, a lot more powerful. There is a downside. The downside is you're turning on their removal spells that are not turned on in the first place. Wait, what? Let me, yeah, but see, okay, that's that's interesting that you say that. Because it says to me that you're only thinking about this in the capacity of one deck. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you play this in, like, the, the Tempo Blue decks? Because uh, you don't want to be tapping out on your turn. The tempo play the the ones that play like literally tap out on their turn every time like with with tempest gin, and and storm storm raider. Like, but but those decks aren't playing gin on three. Like f the, they play them on four. They play literally one turn off the curve so they can keep dive down or spell pierce. Yeah, but you can't or, tell me that gin on three, versus this on on five. Or I'm sorry, Jin on four and this on five, that there's a comparison there. I'm not well, comparing them. That's not what the argument here. The argument is not us comparing those two cards. The comparison is that there is place... You said you don't want to turn on the removal. And that, that just says to me that you're seeing this card only in, like, control decks that have it. no targets. I don't see a deck that this fits in. You don't see, like, a blue mid-range deck that you just put this in to value out, like... Scrying at the beginning of your upkeep every single turn, again, as we've established, is pretty good. I agree. And, and when the first thing I said when this came up was that's how high the quality of creatures are now that I don't see this card as being played. We will revisit this, but I, I don't think two or three months from now. I, I would put it on the list because of the power level of the card. Oh, I the card has a it. high power level. I just, you just don't think it's going to see play anywhere. Exactly. <laughs> I got you. Swirling Torrent. That's some sweet art. All right. Take, this dude's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking love this ride. He's like, get in. <laughs> Six mana. Choose one or both. Put target creature on top of its owner's library, or return a creature to its owner's hand. This is actually bonkers. If you choose both, you're just like bounce this guy, put this guy on top. That the amount of tempo you're getting from this card is utterly insane. It's huge. Six mana is high for constructed, but like, that's huge. This card's bonkers <laughs> and limited. Yeah, it's a cool effect. I love all these cards that they've been making uh, lately. With choose one or both, it's cool. Why don't you brag about it? I am. Three mana counter, so it's another cancel. Uh, its controller puts the top three cards of the library into the graveyard. Not as good as Sinister Sabotage. Not as good as any of them. Yeah, it's... it's but the art is mana. so much cooler. I do like this art where the this back dude, of their head is getting blown this out. This dude's mind has been blown. Jeez. His, this dude's thoughts are collapsing. Yeah, whatever, whatever just got sucked into his fingers got blown straight out the back of his skull. Verity Circle. Three mana. Whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped... If it isn't being declared as an attacker, you may draw a card. So if they tap like a, a Bird of Paradise or a Land of Elf, you get to draw a card. And then for five mana, you get to tap a creature with flying. I could see this. This is definitely a sideboard card. This is a build-around card. 
But is this what you want to be doing with three mana? If you draw two cards off of it, I think it's fine. It is, but like you're you're. <sighs> yep, the stream did die, which is super unfortunate. What happened? The stream hath died. Oh no. Can they hear me? No, oh. no one can hear you. So it's just you and me. It is. It is just you and me. Um, well, this is sad. I guess we'll just keep going. I don't know what to do now. Is there a way to like redo the stream? Redo the stream. I don't know. <laughs> I like how you're making the comment as if you're talking on stream. Listen to this idiot. Redo the stream. <laughs> Well, oh, we're being recorded still, though, right? Correct. That's okay. why I'm because well, I don't want to ruin the that recording. That was good TV. That was good YouTube TV. Then. That is good YouTube TV. This is great. Why is everybody saying "damn it," Rob? All right, Chat. We're, see, because now we're back. We're good. And we're back. All oh. right. Refresh, everybody. If you guys are watching on YouTube, sorry about the hiccup. Uh, we should be good now. Anyway, what were we saying about Verity Sucker? You said uh, it's a build around. It's, it's a build around. I agree. If you if you draw two cards from it, it's good. But like, really, to the, at that point, you're saying I'm going to pay three mana for a divination. That I may get. And then anything else is upside. But late game, you have the tap target creature. But, like, the point is, I look at cards like this, and I see, like, the tap target creature without flying. Ooh, that's a good ability in late game. But, like, it rarely comes to that. Like, you never get a chance to activate that. You're probably losing. How you doing over here, man? I'm, I'm blowing up, man. It's, business is good. Is it? Is it work? It is. No, yeah. that's home. Rob, what did you do? Oh, this card is busted with sleep. What if you could turn three Verity Circle, turn four sleep, and then you're like, it's... It's, really it's basically like Tamio, right? You well, tap no, all their guys. And well, Darko. yeah, and then it's also good with the Merfolk. Merfolk Trickster. Mm. So maybe. Maybe there's a home for this card. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Wall of Lost Thought. An 4 for 2. When it enters the battlefield, a target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. I actually had something to say about this. All right. It sucks. But I forgot... Would you say you lost your thoughts? I, I can't even say. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Windstorm Drake. 3-3 three, three for 5. I've already lost my interest. Other creatures you control with flying get plus 1, plus 0. Oh. I'll play it in limited, but I'm not gonna, we're yeah. not sleeving this bad boy up for constructed. And those are the blue cards. We have Clear the Mind. Eye Everywhere. Eyes Everywhere? Or eyes? I think it was Eyes Everywhere. Mass Manipulation. Mesmerizing Beth Bethid or Benthid? Benthid. Okay. I mistyped a lot of these, apparently. That's Nethid. Oh, my God. What's happening? Don't just don't. Sorry. Precog. Right. Okay, so there's a lot of alliteration here. Eyes everywhere. Mass manipulation. Precognitive perception. Uh, Pteramander. Terramander. It's Terramander. Quench, slimebind, and Sphinx of Foresight. Royal cards that I one or one or both of us thought that uh, that was a decent list. Could see some play. Mm -hmm. You skip talking about the mana leak? No, we what Quench. Quench? No, we did. We talked about it. We said it was good. I I, I talked about how it was like a, a worse version of sensor. A worse worse version of sensor. Worse. Awaken the Earth Fall. Someone played this against me in Sealed yesterday, oh, and it I was, was very here. strange. I was here because I, was I like, saw that. What? Yeah, Why would you they, do this? they literally got like one more token than you, but they had they were behind on board. I think right because like weird. I, yeah, I was like, well, this is weird. You kind of just committed us to both doing nothing for a while. <laughs> yeah. Each player discards all cards in their hand, and then creates that many two-two black zombo creature tokens. What do you think about this? It's so weird, right? Like it is kind of weird. You have to sit. Like we'd have to like sit and try and brew around this card and figure out how we're generating the advantage to take advantage of also this it's card. five mana so like how many cards are you and your opponent gonna have at five mana? you're gonna make like two zombies they're gonna make one zombie well that's the thing it's like how, how do we how do we break this card like what puts a bunch of cards in our hand i don't want to put any cards in their hand in our hand i mean see that's the thing though if i'm if, I'm, if i have a card that's gonna put a bunch of cards in my hand you don't want to i'll just play card those cards card. like <laughs> that's what i mean like this card is so weird it's a good card. I like that this card exists, right? Like, this is an interesting card. Yeah, it's a cool fact. But, like... Like, okay, hold on. This is actually kind of a sweet commander card, if you think about it. You just literally wipe everybody's hand in one instant. That's, oh, that's interesting, that's pretty cool. it's each player. Yeah. Someone starts going off, they're drawing cards or whatnot, and then you just go, eh, and then we all discard. Bankrupt in Blood. Another more alliteration here. They must have, I feel like this set was heavily influenced by the passing of Stan Lee. Uh, two mana as initial cost to cast the spell. Sacrifice two creatures. Draw three cards. That's that's too high. Very high. You're asking a lot. Bank bankrupt in blood. You're you're bankrupting me. But if you expansion explosion it, that's pretty cool. Draws you six. Sure. Skip. 
Blade Juggler. Five mana for a 3 2, and I'm out. When it enters the battlefield, it deals one damage oh, to you. It's and like a Phyrexian Rager. Yeah, for five mana instead of three, unless you spectacle it, and then you luckily get to pay the three mana. Huh. I do like that it's not, you don't have to spectacle it to draw the card. Like, so even if you play yeah, it for five, you still get to draw the card. It's not a requirement. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Blade Brand, two mana, target creature gains death touch, draw a card. That's really not that bad to trade and then and then uh in, in limited i mean right right when we preface these with limited it's a, there's a lot more playables in this form in, in this set yeah i blood mist i like this art this art's great i like the art on the the sacrifice two creature one it was actually really sweet i think it's weird but i do like it it's like pasty right it doesn't look like it doesn't look like it doesn't digital look, art right, it, it looks like it was on canvas it looks like local art look local art draw a card for two isn't terrible which one yeah, I mean, I guess, but I, I... No, that's what I said, but... I mean, but you it, could cycle it, I guess, and, you know, it's whatever. <clears throat> I don't care about it. Whenever Blood Mist Infiltrator attacks, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, it can't be blocked this turn. That's terrible. It's fine and limited. It's a sack outlet. Yeah, it is a sack outlet. Yeah. Look at this little cutie. He's just gnawing on some dude's hand. Two, three, four, four with flying. Take over. Uh, two, two for floor. Uh, uh, two, three, two, four, two four. for floor. Two, three, you, you caught me off guard I, there. Yeah, I give you one. You oh, had one, one job, When carry on impenters the battlefield, you may exile a target creature card from right now. What do you What do you think of this one? What happens if you exile the creature? You didn't even finish the sentence. Yeah, you gain two life. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, you're the color commentator. Okay, you're, you're, you're going to have to talk into the microphone. <laughs> so, um... This is bad. It's not great. Mm -mm. Catacomb Crocodile. Five mana for a 3-7. I feel like we've seen this art before. Uh, it's a crocodile. I'm pretty sure we've seen all the crocodile art before. <laughs> Are we done here? Yeah, we, okay. we, we were done. Clear the stage. Five mana. Target creature gets negative three, negative three until end of turn. If you control a creature with power four or greater, you may turn. Why is that? What is? Why do these have like a couple cards in this set have ferocious, which is really kind of weird. Yeah. A couple black cards are like, if you control a creature with power four or greater, you may return it to one creature from your graveyard to your hand. This is actually great if you can fulfill, fulfill both of these. You think so? Like, neg three, neg three for on turn five? That's terrible. Right, but you're also getting something back. I don't, I mean, okay, so maybe it's, yeah, it's probably just limited. Yeah. Like, you're not going to pay five mana for this. It's okay and limited. Oh, I like this art. Consign it. to the pit. Yeah, but the colors are great. There's only one color on the oh, screen. God. I don't know, man. This is obnoxious. Consigned to the pit, six mana, destroy target creature. Consigned to the pit deals two damage to that. Got him. <laughs> got him. To that creature's controller. Uh, deals two damage to that creature's controller. You cry when you yawn? Uh, sometimes, not always. I just did. Do you cry of the Carnarium when you yawn? Nope. Oh, that's sad. That was a great segue. You're welcome. I Thank you. You're welcome. Three mana. Uh, the usual infest cost, one black, black. All creatures get negative <clears throat> two, negative two until end of turn. But this is a pretty pretty big improvement. Very. Exile all creature cards in all graveyards that are put there from the battlefield this turn. So if you killed a guy, you know, before you cast this, that guy gets exiled too. If a creature would die this turn, exile instead. So every creature that goes to the graveyard this turn. It turns off all, all your aristocrat effects. Like, this is great. Yeah, this is strong, especially in... <laughs> so what is going on? I don't know, dude. I can't. It's, it's weird. Uh, in limited... Um, you get to turn off all the afterlife effects, which is also pretty strong. Yes. So, yeah, this card's definitely great. It's this is the first card that's gonna see play, right? Oh yeah, this will definitely see. Play. No, this is the first card that we've seen. I mean, in, in black, yeah. I don't okay. think I don't think we've seen. Oh, any just making sure I didn't miss anything. Mm -mm. Uh, Dead Revels, four mana. Uh, return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. It's the that's the recover. Correct. Of, right of the set. If your eyes shoot lasers, it's a LASIK party. Debtor's uh, Transport. What is that thing? That's a Thrall. Thralls are weird looking, man. I want to touch it. Don't do it. I want to touch it. Six mana for a 5-3 with Afterlife 2. He looks like he has a butt on his chest. You, you look like you have a <laughs> butt on your chest. He does. You just skip. We're just going right through that one. We, drill we bit. What do you think of Drill bit? Three mana, no Spectacle good. 1. Target player reveals their hand. You would choose a non-land card from it. They discard that card. Uh, if Rakdos aggro, which it will be, is a... Is a it's a thing I, I see it played. As Didn't a, you just say it's no good? I don't think it's that good. And then you said if Rakdos aggro is played, which I think it will be. That doesn't mean it's, it's good. Thing. That doesn't mean it's like a great card. It's not a main deck card, right? Really? This is a card for when you play it. Yeah. Wouldn't you rather have Kite Sail Freebooter, though? Like, I get that this costs one. That's no, because you can rip creatures with this guy. Yeah. It's just... 
But but what are you bringing it in? To, like you're boarding it in to get rid of sweet. I didn't say it was a boarding card. I think it's a main deck card. It's a, it's literally a it's a thought seize for one mana when you get to attack. I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. That's a problem. I don't know. This card is iffy. I agree I with you. I came here for answers. If you're not spectating this card, it's basically coercion, which is not super constructed playable. And it's awkward. I think the card is it's good, right? I don't think it's great. The effect is clearly good. It's, right. It's a, it's a historically great effect. I guess I want something. I want to know that I'm casting it for one mana. You can play it for one mana with gut shot. Yeah, you can. One mana and two life. So at that point, it is literal of worst thought sees. Because it costs you two cards. I think at every point, it's a worst thought sees. No, not if you spectacle it. It's just better. That's fair. Yep. But put it on the list. No. What? Really? You think so? Yeah, as a card. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. We put eyes everywhere on the list. We put... I don't even remember what precognitive perception is. <laughs> it's the draw three. put drill bit. Oh, you're right. I'm just saying. Cards are good. That was the point. Drill bit's definitely going to be played. All right, it's in there. It's in there. It's in there. Font of Agonies. One mana. Whenever you pay life, put that many blood counters on Font of Agonies. All right, so Phyrexian mana. Whenever you pay life? Yeah. That's weird, right? Remove four blood counters, destroy... A cr oh, Jesus. I want like I want this card to be like win the game, remove twenty blood counters. That would be sick because then you you'd have to like pay an entire life. You'd have worth to you'd have to pay your life's worth, and then you can win the game. That's so a you'd great have story. to. Get, yeah, that's a good card. I just made that right now. Holy. You guys can wizards. You can have that. Just give me credit on the bottom. But I mean, like just removing four of them. Like I pay four life, and I can remove four to, to kill a creature. Like I don't care. The creature's <laughs> gonna kill me first. Like Z zombie Hawaiian punch. So the creature's going to attack me for five. I'm going to pay four life, and then I'm going to be able to pay two more mana, yeah. not including whatever mana I spent to cast the cards that I'm paying the life for, and then I'm going to kill their guy. That's a lot of work, man. Why is it a rare? I'm going to get this first pack like 90 times. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's why it's a rare. What do you think of Grotesque Demise? Three mana instant. Excel a creature with power three or less. Why didn't we just get Smother? Uh, Smother hasn't been popular for a while. There was a more recent one in... Uh, what was the one in in Battle for Zendikar that that had Defile? Was it Defile? What's the word? Steve, what's the mechanic in that set? Oh, where they're like colorless. Yes. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It had a little. It had a little. What's bla that black squiggly dude on it? Yes. Yeah, what's the? I can't remember what it's called though. But it's exile a creature that with a man converted mana cost a three or less. Correct. It's the same card. For, for Devoid. Two and a black. Devoid was the. Devoid. Yeah. Yeah, it was black squiggly card. Oh, complete, complete disregard. disregard yeah. Three mana instant exile target creature with power three or less. It's the same card. Yeah. Only this is not this is not devoid. Yeah, and that one didn't see play. So. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's I, I, uh, let's go to the next one. Can we talk about my gutter bones? I always want to talk about your gutter bones. Always. Always. That's weird. Uh, gutter bones is a one mana two one. It enters the battlefield tapped like you do. Uh, the reason being that I want you to block with this guy. And you can pay two mana to return him from your graveyard to your hand. Activate this only during your turn and only if an opponent lost life this turn. This, this card's probably going to see play. Heck yeah, it is. Cards like this always see play. This card's great. It is not a zombie, which is worth noting. Yeah, it's kind it of is a skeleton warrior, if that if that does anything for you guys. So your skeleton tribal deck uh, it, it's finally gets, a little, there. Gets, a little, gets a little bump. We did it. Can you guys hear me? You can. I can just move it closer. Like it's an arm. It's a mic arm. You can move it wherever wherever you want, man. It's a mic arm. It's a it's a microphone arm. A microphone. Okay. You can move it wherever you want. You don't have to have it like here because you want to sit back. You can literally just pull it up to you. It just feels weird. I'm not used to having this that's this close to my mouth like you, you are. Can, then you can lower it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's hard, guys. It's hard. He's new. It's okay. He's an intern. No, Ill-gotten inheritance. For longer. Four man. <laughs> you promised me a full time position. <laughs> Four mana, inheritance. You said if I kill Michael, I get to sit in his chair. Okay, shh, no, no, hold okay. on, stop, stop. Hmm. I'm going to have to edit that one out. Okay. Uh, six, at the beginning of your upkeep, ill-gotten inheritance deals one damage to each opponent and you gain a life. Wow. One damage and I gain a whole life every turn. It triggers spectacle. That's true. On turn five, you can cast your spectacle Still cards. terrible. <laughs> six mana, sacrifice it, it deals four damage to target opponent and you gain four life. I feel like this, they could have printed this card at rare and not the other one, and it would have been no different. Noxious Grudian. Grudion. Three mana for a 2-2 two -two beast with death touch. This is basically just dagger back basilisk. Yeah, you're right. Black. Which we've seen a million times. 
I wonder. Hold on. Is that is that the actual art, just without hair? It's just, it's just Daggerback Basil hairless. Da- I don't know if Basilis have hair. I think they're reptilian, aren't they? Oh, that's right. It is, isn't it? But that that kind of looks like a uh, like a decrepified one, doesn't it? Like that thing's facing us instead of Basilis is facing sideways, but it's got the big hump on its neck. Remember? Orzov Enforcer. Two mana for a 1-2 death touch with Afterlife. I don't actually hate this card. This card was a roadblock for me in Limited the other day. I don't know if this I is... I saw that match too. Yeah, like Afterlife 1 really kind of pushes this over the top, I think. Because there were actually constructed decks that would play things like Typhoid Rats. Or like Hired Poisoner. Right, like in the yep. sideboard just as a way <clears throat> to, to like... slow people down. Right, just as a way to decks. stop. And so like if you have this for two mana, but you do get a 1-1 one, one flyer out of it when it dies, it's not terrible. I don't know. It's not impossible, but... This is, like, there's always a cycle of cards like this that, like, halfway through the life cycle of stand, of the current standard format, people go, okay, I need four of these on my sideboard because of this is what's right, going like on. Right, like, they have a Pelucranos or yeah, something. Yeah, and, and then, like, like, two weeks later, this is just gone. There's always, that, that always happens. And then happens. Pelucranos can't kill it because it would fight back and kill it, or, you know, they just can't attack into it, so it's super obnoxious. But Yes. I don't know, still iffy, but I, I definitely keep my eyes open on stuff like that. Orzhov Racketeer is 5 mana for a 3-2. When it deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. For 5 mana? Like, what are we talking here? Uh-uh. They're not going to have any cards left on there. Like, it's got no evasion. You're not attacking with this guy until turn 6, and like it has to actually connect. It's a 3-2. It has no evasion. Please. It's dumb. Get out of my life. Pestilent Spirit, 3-2 for 3 mana. Menace and Death Touch. Alright, you got a lot of things going on for you here. Instant and Sorcery Spells you control have Death Touch. This card's busted. This card's great, right? And we'll see play. Discal, you said it won't? Giving your instant and sorcery spells death touch, you can have like your shocks kill Lyra's? We'll see play. I think you're I think that's incredibly wrong. Like it's a three two with evasion. I think that's at inc- the very, very beginning of standard it will. Just to be tried, but it won't see play. Card's cool though. You don't even have to play this. You don't you can just hold this. They play a Lyra. And then you just go like play this guy for three, shock them for one. And your their Lyra's dead. Like, mm-hmm. I, I think that's... This card seems insane. Like, he doesn't even fly. He's a spirit. You don't fly. Are you trolling? No, I'm being, de- I'm being dead serious about the play thing. Interesting. I wouldn't hold, I wouldn't hold it that long. No. Um, I do think the flavor of ha- of it menace and death touch, that's super awesome. Because they have to block with two guys yeah, and both die. that's awesome. Like, but that's like, cool. That, I think that by itself, 3-2 with menace and death touch is, is not terrible. Right, you're saying remove the bottom. Yeah, no, I agree with that. And then the bottom is just OP. It kills every every burn spell in your hand, kills every creature. It does turn Cosmotronic Wave into a board wipe. Frank and wow, I had that conversation. I told you that. We talked about that the I other day. I forgot about that, Yeah, though. Yeah, that's cool. A one side. It's a Plague Wind. Turns into a Plague Wind. I think this is a weird... I think you're being weird right now. Maybe. I mean, I guess, I guess I could, I could see. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Plague white. I don't see colors. Mm-mm. Two mana for Literal. a two one. Whenever plague white becomes blocked, each creature blocking it gets negative un, negative un until end of tune. <laughs> what do you think of this? It's hot trash. Sounds good. Yeah. Moving along. <laughs> Moving along. I love this card. Oh, Supreme Phantom also works well. You go turn to Supreme Phantom, turn three Pestilent Spirit, and it's a 4-3. Mm. Yeah. Priest of the Forgotten God. Holy cow, I just realized that. Supreme Phantom is in standard. Yeah. All the afterlife yeah, creatures it's... give... Every afterlife Ooh, creature Oh, I bumped. liked that. Yeah, I literally just thought of that. It's because Supreme Phantom was really, like, strangely stuck in M19. Yeah, it's because they needed it for modern, so like... Yeah, just stick a Supreme like, Phantom. Just stick it in the, in the 19th set. Yeah. There's no Phantom theme, but it's... No one cares about No spirit set. theme, but it's, it's fine. A, it's a core set. We don't care. It's fine. Two mana for a 1-2. Okay. Sacrifice two other creatures. Any number of target players each lose two life and sacrifice a creature. You add two and draw a card. Do you like this card? This card's awesome. Are you kidding me? This card's great. <laughs> no, I ain't kidding. What's this card's the- great. You have to sacrifice two creatures with your 1-2. Oh, you have to sacrifice two? I know that. This card is great. <laughs> the effect on this card is so good. Yeah, this card's great. All right, that was pretty. This card. Oh, you have to sacrifice two. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> See, priest is so good. This card is good. This card is is good when it's paired up with Jude. There's so many effects that can be taken advantage of by this by this card. This card is great. Skurznag High Priest, it lets you get a 5-5. Five five. That card was unstoppable if you could do things. This card actually requires other things, though. I'm going to write it down because I, I value Rob's opinion, but... 
All right, man, I'm gonna trust you. A one two does not. It doesn't instill confidence in me. This is a pure aristocrat card. This card is great. This is like an even harder to use curse that hybrid. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with you. I feel you, my dude. <clears throat> Hold on, go back real quick. Yep. So you're telling me the effect from from the high priest? You'd rather have a creature that taps, creates a five five, versus a card that makes someone lose two life, lose a creature, you gain two man at a ramp, and you see another card. You're yes. gonna tell me the five five is better. You are insane. This is this is actually like kind of an age old question where. If you had the opportunity to draw a 5 5 from your deck or a random card, what's going to be better? There are and a lot impact, of times. Higher impact cards than just a vanilla 5 5. It's not a vanilla 5 5, it's a 5 5 flyer. Okay, well, that's pretty good. But still, this <laughs> effect's better. I but Okay, so then you draw a land, right? You have a probably a 35% chance or 40% chance of hitting a land in your deck. You also. Okay, so let's say we have the. We play this on two. Are we going to activate it for the first time on turn three? We already have two other creatures in play? No. Right. So, okay. So, what's the earliest? Probably turn four is like the earliest we're going to activate this. Sure. So, on turn four, we activate this. We have had we have four mana. Are we, we're, we're playing a guy on turn four, right? Because we play a guy on turn one. We play this on turn two. We play a guy on turn three. Then you activate it on three. Turn four, you have access to what? Six mana? In a deck that's well, you're probably playing... Four. So that that But I'm saying like... The your 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 feeding this this does everything you want to do in a card that costs two mana that wants to eat creatures that cost one and two mana but also do things like you pay two mana for a one one you get to block with it and then tap sack your priest of forgotten god sack it, sacrifice it and something else draw another card make them sacrifice a creature and you just dealt them damage so the one thing that's that's sticking with me here is that you draw a card and they sack a creature, so you are getting a replacement for the two creatures that you're sacrificing. But like your the two creatures you're getting rid of have to be worse than a random card from your deck and a <clears throat> random creature on their board. They're, they're worst creature on board. They're not worse. They're better. And the reason they're better is because they've either already done what the card is in the deck to do, or okay, that's what I'm saying. Sacrificing them is the reason they're in the deck. So like this is purely synergistic. But but what I'm saying is. There is a core of cards here for this card to shine. Okay. That's important. That's relevant. There are three. I thought up until yesterday I thought there was there was only two. There are three creatures that whenever a creature dies, drain life in in standard right now. There are three of them. Like whenever you have multiple blood artists and stuff, like think of how dumb that is. The math is on that. Also keep in mind I'm not, I didn't say this card was bad. I would no, just, no, I'm, I'm suspicious. Not, I'm not. I'm not because it takes a lot. There's I, a lot going on here, and if you top deck this card, it's not great. I agree. If lingering, souls, it's only good on the battlefield. If they reprinted lingering souls in this set, God, I would be on board. I also do like that you can do this anytime. So if they go to kill one of your guys, you can yeah. sacrifice it. So, all right, cards great when we do two at a giant. Let's talk. Oh, it's each a pl oh. target. It's yeah, target target player. Rakdos, a trumpeter, two mana for a one three with menace, for four mana. In case you have nothing better to do with your four <laughs> mana, it gets plus two. Unlimited. Hmm. Goodbye. This card I like a lot. Spawn of Mayhem, four mana for a four four flyer with trample. So it's not the six six we're used to for four mana. It's better, but it has better things going on for it. For one, you can spectacle out on turn three. You attack with your 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 guy on turn two. On, on turn, you play a guy on turn two, you attack with on turn three, whatever. You do spectacle this guy into play three mana for a four four flyer. Insane. At the beginning of your upkeep, it deals one damage to each player. Then, if you have ten or less life, put a one one counter on it. So that's pretty good. Not legendary. Triggers triggers spectacle every turn. Is a way above curve for its stats. Dealing one damage to each player is basically making this a five four. It's basically a five four four yeah. four. This card, is, this card is insane. This is a this is a format staple. This will this will be a four of in more than one standard deck. Probably. Yeah, there's no downside to having more of this, this guy because at worst you cast it for four mana. This is what this is the rekindling phoenix. Like this is the twenty five dollar mythic, thirty dollar mythic when standard starts picking up. Yeah, this guy you're gonna face this guy a lot in the coming weeks. So. He actually has the face of a predator. I just noticed. Oh yeah, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Is what you're saying? I don't. Is that from Predator? That's correct. Okay. Spire Mangler. 2-1 for a 3-mana Flyer with Flash. When Iris Battlefield target creature with Flying, you control gets plus 2, plus 0. Oh. So you can actually make this a 4-1 Flyer that blocks. Jay Sizzle, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. F six months in a row. Good times. Halfway to being a real fan. We'll get there. We'll get there. 
Do you put a counter on it each turn you are under 10 life? Yes. Yes. Uh, every turn it deals damage to each player. Then if you have 10 or less life, you put a counter on it every single turn. Card's busted. This card's not. Uh, in, in limited, this card seems really good. Yeah, I'll definitely I'll play a 2-1 flyer with flash yeah. in limited to begin with, let alone that it's a combat trick as yeah. well. Yeah. Thirsting Shade. This dude is thirsty. One mana for a 1-1 one, one with lifelink. Three mana to give it plus one, plus one. <clears throat> Honest question. Would the original honesty stream? What was <laughs> honesty stream? What was what was the name of the original shade? Frozen shade, I believe. It was two man. It was two mana for a two one that you could pump for one, right? No, you're thinking of Nantuko shade. Yes, would that be played in standard? Frozen shade is old school from uh, Alpha. It is three mana, oh, and it so costs. Sick. It's one mana to pump it plus one plus one. Would you be? Would, would it be, Nantuko would, shade? Would, would Nantuko Nant should be played in standard? You think? Uh, I think it's yeah. I, I don't see it. If there's a black deck. That can support the costs. Yeah. Uh, I think so, yeah. It's just a 2-1 for... It's a 2-1 for 2. And then it gets plus 1, plus 1 for every black mana. This would like, not be played in standard. This 3 mana is way too... You, so you have to pay 3 mana to make it a 2-2? Two, two? Like, What if it was reverse? What if it was the one you just you, you just showed me, but it had lifelink too? What if it costs 3 mana, but it costs 1 three to pump? 3 mana, 1-1, one, one, 1 to pump with lifelink. I still so think so. Like, it? you just don't want to have to invest this much mana into this creature every single turn. Yeah. Like, it's just really... It's it's a lot. It's a, You're asking for a lot here. Under City Scavenger, 3-3 three, three for 4, which is fine. But then if it enters the battle, when it enters the battlefield, you may sack another creature if you do put two 1-1 one, one counters on it and scry 2. That's not that bad. This card's actually pretty good in limited. In limited, yeah. It's not yeah, that you bad. can get a 5-5 five, five and scry 2. What's going on in this heart? Is, is it just... I don't know. It looks like he's having a drink, maybe? It looks... It doesn't it almost he's look like scavenging? there's a bear? Doesn't it look like there's a bear in front of him? I can see where you're seeing it, yeah. yeah. Like, this is the mouth. Uh, no, the, that's the front legs. Where you're circling now is the face. Is just the head. The mouth isn't open, and the bottom trunks for the Oh, legs. this is the leg, yeah. and this is the head? Sure, yeah. I got you. Okay. Okay. Well, that's the most is interesting that just thing a about that card. Is that, <laughs> was that a recycling of Hill Giant? You're... I mean, yes. Every 3-3 three, three for 4 is just a recycling of Hill Giant. No, I mean the that's art. a sizable... Oh. No, I don't know. We're going to move on. We googled other obscure Tart cards. Tart sacrifices a creature. If you control a creature with power 4 or greater, if you have Ferocious... Oh, am I black? Am which I black Which is deck? weird. Right, because it's, like a, it's a black ability, but they're like, here. Green, black, flies. Let me move that. I'm trying to like. What are you doing? You have a tendency to scoot over a lot, oh, so like I'm sorry. I, I end up being back. way like off center. <laughs> it's fine. I love you. All right. There you go. We're good. We're good. Um. Yeah. So three mana target opponent sacrifice creature. Three mana for a sac effect is pretty standard. Like what was instant speed's nice. Yeah. And if you control a creature power four or greater, like the Vona's uh, hunger is just better, right? Like the spawn of mayhem. Oh, what is Vona? What is Vona's hunger? Vona's hunger is the exact same thing. Three mana, instant speed, sacrifice a creature, and there's if if uh, something something something, then they sacrifice half their creatures. Round it up. It's in standard right now. Oh, the black card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you from Ixalan. Yes. Yeah, I got you. I can't remember what triggers it, but oh, oh, city's blessing. City's, city's blessing. blessing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have to just scoop and, and sign the sheet. Um, this card's okay. Bonus hunger is just better. Yeah, it's not. It's just funny that like there's two ferocious cards in the set, and they're just like it's literally the exact ferocious ability, but they give it to they gave the teamer ability to to black in the set. It's kind of weird. Something happened with our green screen. No, I don't know what they were talking about oh, either. Okay, sorry. Um, when another creature you control dies, a vindictive vampire deals one damage to each opponent, and you gain one life. You like this card? This is one of the ones that I was talking about. One of the three. That 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 drain for in a in an sure, but it's four mana. Yeah, it is. But there's also one mana cards that help you accelerate. I mean, four four is a lot. I get it, <sighs> except for when you sacrifice two creatures and you add two mana to your mana pool and draw a card and sacrifice an opponent's creature. Sure, I mean this feels like one of the creatures I'm gonna sacrifice just to get <laughs> it off the board. I'm like, God, oh two three four four. If this is a this four 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 bad. four, can we have it a four four? That'd be pretty strong at a four four. Nah, it wouldn't be that that strong. Nah, it wouldn't be. It should be, or or like a two four. I don't know. I don't know how to rate this card because I think the blood artist ability is super good. Um, it just depends on the body you put it on. Is really where you want it. It is a hundred percent super medium. But but it, it's it's either going either the shell of aristocrats works and these cards are busted together, or this is just junk, right? If there was no sack outlets, the, you look at this card and go, well, this is crap. Correct. Yeah, this is just junk. Either it works or it doesn't. This card's just junk. This is the promo card. 3-3 three, three for 6, Flying and Lifelink. I like all the things that are going on here. Whenever it attacks, defending player discards a card. 
Whenever a card is put into opponent's graveyard from anywhere, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So it's automatically a 4-4 four, four for 6 with flying and lifelink when it attacks. I don't hate this card. I wish it was cheaper. I, I knew. But there's I a lot going on. I you would like on, this dude. card. This is you. <laughs> this is you on a card. This is your card design. You're like, hold this on. is your dream eater of hold the on, set. It's, hold on. It's got flying? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Go on. Tell me more. You have to discard cards? Hold on. It's got lifelink? Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm getting a little. I'm getting the sweat here. And I'm getting a, the vapors. And it's a three-three on turn six. Whew. Okay, that doesn't excite me. Oh. I think we both know that. Like we yeah. like, we went from being serious and and poking fun at the things I enjoy genuinely to making to fun? just really exaggerating the things I enjoy by by telling me you I don't enjoy that. I don't like that at all. But it's when because the, of that pain it causes you <sighs> that it tears you inside that you're like I just want this card. I want it to be good. Yes, but it's not. It's what if I play this guy, right? And then next turn... And then it dies. I kill their creature, and now it's a 4-4. Four, four. I attack, they discard a card, now it's a 5-5. Five, five. That seems great, right? But shouldn't your 6-drop your six drop already ETB as a 4-4 four, four or a 5-5 five, five that probably dealt with a creature? No. Demanding Dragon does that the turn it comes into play. It doesn't have lifelink, though. <laughs> <laughs> so... This, this this is this is you, man. This is so funny. When this came up, I was like, "Yeah, that's his card." He's gonna he's gonna like. And then like a month from now, you were like, "I want." We're gonna have a podcast. Hey, welcome to Frank Slots. I wanted to talk to you guys today about a card that when I first saw it spoiled, just it really it 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 piqued my interest. You so could say one thing I like about cards, and it's interesting. <laughs> I, I like cards outside of their actual playability. Like I like this card a lot. Mm -hmm. I think this card is awesome outside of whether it actually sees any kind of competitive play. If this was a 3-4, I would say it's worth it. I could see it being worth it. Because it dodges that instant speed spell or that one of They have to hit it. What if they put Flash on this dude? It would still be garbage. Really? EOT no, Flash this dude? It wouldn't, it wouldn't because you, they tap out and you cast it and then you get to actually utilize its effect. And and like the, the effect of Dream Eater is complete garbage compared to what this thing does. Like this thing blows Dream Eater out of the water. I almost wish it was a 3 4 so it could dodge Justice Strike and Lightning Strike. That's what I just, that's what I was saying. That's what I was getting to. I was going to say they literally have to bedevil it or they have to hit it with Lava Coil. But it's not, man. I'm so sad. It's all right. We'll so, it. anyway, the we'll cards the cards that we think see play, we'll see play or are, are, are. Are we done? Or have applications. Yep, this is the last one. This okay. is number 31 because the red card. This is black is the only color in the set with 31 cards because of this one extra. Oh, for the box. It's yeah. by a box, right? Um, the the six cards are Cry of the Carnarium, which is infest. The Oasis play Drill Bit because it has Thoughtseize esque applications. Gutter Bones because a two one for one always manages to see play. Pestilent Spirit, uh, which I think is great because it gives all of your we'll see yeah all of your shocks like Death Touch. There's, like it's funny, it's one of those cards that's like every stat on it is busted. Priest but it's just like eh. Priest of Forgotten Gods. Meanwhile, significantly harder to get going, and Rob loves that one. <laughs> And Spawn of Mayhem, which is a pretty busted dude. That's like the best card in the set. Is it really? I would think so, yeah. It, it, for, in standard application. Okay. All right. And now we're on to the red cards. Me and Rob, I think red is our favorite color. Both of us really love red. I always draft red. Only red. Never. I never draft red. Never red. I do draft Boro sometimes, but only because the bots feed it. The bots? Oh, because yeah, you're talking about arena? arena? Yeah. Act of Treason. Oh, this is interesting. Two and a red. Tell me what this does. Gain control of target. Nope, don't care. For how long? Oh. Amplifier. I had this in my in my draft yesterday, in my sealed yesterday. It was the first time I saw this. So what do you think about this guy? I don't even know what it does. If being your upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature. Oh, his, his power and toughness. It's, I didn't even realize. I like didn't realize a lot. You're like, oh, let me read it to myself. Even though we're doing a live set review. Until your next your turn. Upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. So let's say the top card is an Emrakul. That's one large man. What if you have four amplifiers and one Emrakul in your deck, right? Oh no, you want to have four and maybe one and four, or one and one. One and one, I guess. Yeah. So anyway, you reveal cards until you get the Emrakul. Until your next turn, Amplifier's base power becomes twice that card's power, so 30, and its base toughness becomes twice that card's toughness, so 30. And then you put the real cards on the bottom of your library in a random order, this so... It's terrible. It's a four mana, uh, and it could be bigger, and it could be... It's just a one one. It's, it's a four terrible. mana one one. This That's the end. so bad. You know what's funny? If you think about the developers, they have to make cards like that. Like we want everything to be amazing, they have to make these cards that are just. But here's like, the thing. Here's another thing you don't, you might not consider, and you may, but you may not, based on what you just said. We'll talk about it after. This card actually is amazing, 
to non-competitive players. Like uh, a casual player who That's wants true. to play this in their elemental deck with, That's true. with shaman of like the, the shamans from Lorwyn or whatever. You know, like not every card is for the competitive player, and True. that's what that's what people. As soon as you grasp that, you get less upset about like having. Oh, I don't get upset. So, not you, but yeah. in general, like people in general. Yeah, like people in chat. Burn bright, three mana. This art's really good. Three mana. Burr, 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 burr. How you doing over there, man? Uh, that's a text for someone named Abigail. I get them nonstop. Whoever had my phone, her her name was Abigail. Are you serious? Yeah. Look, look at this. Look at all my texts. Why do why do you still get messages for someone else's? Because the number that was there before. Oh my god! Creatures you can trigger plus this is trumpet blast. Ba, 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 ba. Why? Oh, that's what you were doing. Yes. Well, because your phone. Did I know that, it was the timing. You did that, yeah. and I was like, oh, is he just making the phone noise? Abigail wants drugs. <laughs> there are texts in there about prescription drugs. <laughs> oh god, Abigail, get your life together. They think I'm Abigail. That's my. That's my. That's, that's my name. Curse. That's my drug. That's my drug name. That is. Your, that's I'm totally a cover. You're like El Abigail. Call me Abigail. I'm not El Chapo. Oh I'll my god. Game. Okay, we're done here. So the first two cards we've seen are Act of Treason. <laughs> and Trumpet Blast. As of Act of Treason. And Burn Bright as Trumpet Blast. Also another alliterative card, Burn Bright. Burning Tree Vandal. Three mana for a 2-1. I ate a Hershey's Kiss, so I apologize for that. Don't, I don't. I don't, don't apologize. apologize for that. A 2-1 with Riot. Whenever Burning Tree Vandal attacks, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Cool fact. The fact that it can be a 3-2 is nice. It's 3 mana, 3-2. That allows you to rummage. That's pretty good. I also like that it's whenever it attacks. You don't have to connect with it. Yeah. It's pretty strong. But I still don't think this is playable. Uh, I don't think so either. It's just better 3 drops. This card is interesting. Cavalcade of Calamity. A 2 mana enchantment. Whenever a creature you control with one or power 1 or less attacks, it deals 1 damage to the player or planeswalker that creature is attacking. It's interesting. If you can get a, a whole deck, Swole Mike is actually a lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I knew it was going to go there. I knew it. <laughs> uh, this card, alliteration aside, this card's crap. It's just a card. Like it, it's, it's, it's just a title. card. It's, it's just a card. It's just a It's just a piece of cardboard. You don't think that there's applications with a deck that has a bunch of 1-1 one, one nerdies? Nope. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Fake Hellrider token decks. A fake Hellrider for token. No, it doesn't make tokens. No, it's for token decks. No one said it makes tokens. Oh, that's right. Hellrider is one that deals damage when they attack, right? Correct. It's the same as this, basically, except it, like it triggers white white on white. all creatures and not just one ones. Mm. Clamor Shaman. <laughs> Look at this art. This guy is really weird looking. It looks like a really weird clown. Okay. The, what that really looks like to me is a male goblin that's cross-dressing as a female goblin. Okay. I mean, it's... Okay. Three mana for a 1-1 a one <laughs> one with Riot. So it could be a 2-2 two two or it could just be a one, 1-1 one Haster. Whenever it attacks, target creature and opponent controls can't block this turn. This card's actually pretty It's okay, decent. but like a, it's a 1-1. One, one. This should be a 2-1, right? At least give it I 2 agree. power. And and then, or you can make it a non-hasty thing for 3-2. You, you ever seen Killer Clowns from Outer Space? No, but I've heard of it. This looks like one of the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Was it a clown that was a male clown but dressed up as a female clown? No. Okay. It's Abigail. It's Abigail. <laughs> All right, so I'm, you're passing on this, I think? Goblin Heel Cutter was a cool card. Dagger Caster. Check out the green in that art. That's sweet. I do like the green, actually. It's a really vivid green. Four mana for a 2-3. When it enters the battlefield, it does one damage to each opponent and each and one damage to each creature your opponent's control. Um, wasn't there a card like this in Standard? I'm trying to think of what it was. I've never heard of it. I could have sworn there was a card in Standard. It dealt one damage to your opponents and one damage to their creatures. and It was, it was a red card, too, I think. God, I feel like I, now I can't even tell if you're being sarcastic anymore. It's jo it's Goblin Chain World. If the oh, God, you ruined it. Dang it. I was going to be like, well, if we can't think of it, this is probably really playable. <laughs> and we probably just I can't. had to go. I didn't know. I yeah, didn't. I, I was like, we probably just, we'll probably just play I this. I didn't want to be dumb with you. That's a really good effect. Like a 2-3 that just kills all their things. We can do it twice. We can do it back to back now. On curve. Sounds terrible. I like that no one knew. God, they all thought I was being serious. That's amazing. Dang. Yeah, you sold it, man. That's I, great. I was, yeah, I was, I was, I, as I was doing it, I was like, I'm working this too hard, but yeah. you're like, I'm so deep in right now. I can't, I can't, I can't it's too I late. Can't I'm already around. committed. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Deface one mana for a destroying artifact or destroy a creature with defender. This is actually fine. I mean, if you're, if you need, if you're in the market for destroying an artifact anyway, this is. So how great is this card in standard? If that, if the Arcades deck is real. How flexible of a side that's that is prime sideboard card right there for a oh I agree it's like literally that's so cool just, it's like a vindicate for yeah. every creature they have that's so cool 
That's uh, yeah, just one one mana kill your four drop that turns on your whole deck. <laughs> I never think you're being serious. That's probably accurate. That's probably safe. I mean, this card's playable, right? I think it's meta dependent, but yes, I I, I put it down because it's a, it's a cyber. it's a one mana destroy an artifact, right? But no option for damage to deface. <laughs> <laughs> Electro Dominance X Red Red. It deals X damage to any target. Oh, is that was that a reaction? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. No. X damage to any target. Oh, this card's fantastic, right? I I do not think this card's any good. You may cast a card from your with converted mana cost extra less from your hand without paying its mana cost. You don't think this is good with like ancestral vision? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but we had yeah. we saw this effect before and everyone was like, "Oh my god, this is gonna be in living end and i'm gonna draw 90 what, cards when? and with with the three mana enchantment three mana enchantment yeah the the blue enchantment that lets you cast as cards, foretold as foretold like there's ways there's this effect isn't new and they they're it's not played now it's just not that good here's here's an honest question right the ability of the card is busted but the damage it deals is crap what what are you gonna kill? What are you gonna do? Go oh I'm gonna I'm gonna pay three mana or just pay two mana to cash in two cards to draw three. So here's the thing. Let's say you have I'm gonna go with Lyra again. Let's say you have a Lyra in your hand. Yeah. And it's your opponent's turn. Would you pay seven mana end of their turn to kill their Lyra and put your own Lyra or Teferi into play? like a red uh, Jeskai control deck, let's say. But that's like, that's that's here, right? Don't we have to measure this card here? That's I, that's like saying, wouldn't you want to, wouldn't you want to deal, uh, your opponent is at 18, would you pay 23 mana to deal your opponent 18 damage and put a Teferi <laughs> on the battlefield? Well, no, I'd put an Emrakul on the battlefield. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. Don't be a little baby about and you it. Get to, do you get to cast it too? Yeah, you get to cast the Emrakul too. So after you kill them, you can attack and make them sacrifice permanents. They should add us to the Legacy Cube so you can play this with channel. Are you saying I pay two red and two mana uh, to deal two damage to something, and then I cast the channel <laughs> off of this, and then I oh man, and then I pay the mana? Like the fact that the the front half of this card is so irrelevant because it's overcosted. It's just not good. It only costs one more than a Banefire, but the upside is huge. Like they're saying, all right, tell you what, I'm going to give you Banefire, but add one more red to it, and you can just cast whatever you want as long as the cost is less than X or equal to X. Well, technically it's better. That seems like a really the good trade-off. it's instant, it's better. But if you're talking about it in the and modern... It's instant. If you're talking about it in the context of modern as a format, it sounds so dumb, but one extra mana in the casting cost is huge. This card does nothing. But here's the thing, right? As foretold, required you play blue. Right. And it also was three mana investment. Yeah. Whereas at the, if I'm playing Storm, or I'm not, not Storm, but Living End, mm -hmm. I can go end of turn, red, red, Living End. Okay. Or you could have done it for three mana already, but you don't have to have a Living ha Living End in your hand. Right, but sometimes it does get stuck in your hand, mm -hmm. and sometimes you don't hit the other cards. What do, you, what do you think is more common? You have Living End in your hand, or you don't? You don't. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. It's it's a hard card to it's a hard card to evaluate. I think. I think it's strong ability. Again, again, the card is great. The effect is dumb, but we haven't had the means to just break this open. I'll break you open, you scum. Not with that card. Feral Maka, another yep. cat. So many cats. <laughs> two mana for a two two. All right, <laughs> you're cute. You're cute. I was good art. Flames of the Raise Boar. <laughs> Oh, pig, pig, pig. Uh, six mana for an instant. Flame of the Razor deals four damage to target creature and opponent controls. Then Flame of the Razor <laughs> deals two damage to each other creature that player controls if you control a creature with power four. Why are more... What's what's with the ferocious sub-theme in this set? I don't know, but one thing I will tell you, especially to you because you're a limited player... Especially tell it to me. This card is actually really busted and limited. There are a lot of X2s in this set. I don't know if you've really oh, noticed. I mean, this is an uncommon instant speed four damage spell. I would take this every day. Yes, I'm, but I'm just saying, like, I, I've seen this card casted... Uh, I want to say two or three times, and it's almost wiped entire boards. Oh, that doesn't surprise it, me. It's at all. just unfair. Yeah, this card's insanely limited. Don't pass the don't don't sleep on this guy. Don't pass the card. Yeah. This one you like? Well, because it's a four of in the gate deck. Oh it's my god. Garbage. Move move past it. Three mana. Gates of Blaze deal X damage to each creature where X is the total number. Oh wow, this is just a sweeper. Oh dear God, this is busted. Why is this uncommon? This feels rare, dude. Because it requires you to have gates. Who cares about that? Every other card requires me to have mana. Doesn't mean it's all... 
<laughs> Does still make them rare. I feel like it could have been better art than this art. Really? This art's fantastic. What are you yeah. talking about? I feel like they only put in effort on half the card. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You just, you're always just giving your opinions. No, <laughs> your opinions are always bad. <laughs> you just got these hot takes. <laughs> No one's mad at you for giving your opinions. We're mad at the results we're, of your opinion. At, we're mad at, about your opinions. Oh, there's no full art of it. This art looks amazing, though. Look, it's like the fire coming out. What did you say? What was your complaint about it? The art? Yeah. yeah I, I feel like there should be more on the left side. It's coming out of these gates, though. The gates are here. Okay. I hate you. Anyway, this card's good. I like this card. Gore Clan Wrecker. Four mana for a 2 2 with Menace and Riot. And uh, we'll move on there. Goblin Gathering. Three mana for you make, you make two 1 1s, right? It is a Goblin Gathering. But you make an additional one for every Goblin Gathering in your graveyard. So the first one makes two, second one makes three, third one makes four, etc. Seems cool, but it's not playable. I agree. It's no Lingering Souls. Nah. Two's a party, three's a felony. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Keep that in mind, buddy. That's great. Gravel Hide Goblin, two mana for a two one, and it gets plus two plus two for four mana. Good, great card and limited. Well, not great, but good. It's good, a good solid save. filler card. Yeah. Immolation uh, Shaman, one three for two. All right, that's fine, right? Whenever an opponent activates an ability or of an artifact, creature, or land that isn't a mana ability, it deals one damage to that player. Should be two. What do you want? Eidolon of the Great Revel here, man? No, that's worse. Two than damage is a lot. This is Harsh Mentor. But it also gets plus three, plus three, and menace until end of turn for five mana. So it's a four six with menace. For five mana? Harsh mentors just don't better. you underestimate mana sinks, man. This guy just sits on the board as a one three. It deals a little damage. And then in the late game. No, it, it doesn't, because no one plays it. He sits in the binder. This is the card that the guy's gonna get ninety times first 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 rare ninety like ninety times. I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's great, but I don't think it's terrible. That, also, the art feels bad on it too. Like his arms, I feel like they didn't give him enough arm. His right arm just. I feel super like weak. they didn't give him enough arm. <laughs> He's got way too much shoulder pad. Hey man, can you guys give me a little more arm, please? <laughs> uh, can, <laughs> can we dial up the arm? Light up the stage. <laughs> Three mana for a uh, spectacle with with spectacle one. Exile the top two cards of your library until the end of turn. Your next turn, until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. This is nice because, on turn, let's say I attack on turn two, with my one drop, I can play this on turn two for one spectacle, and then I have one mana left over to play at that turn, or I can go to my next turn, play my third land, and then or play, you can hit your land drop there. off of it. That's true because you can play those cards. Yeah, not cast, which is this which card is, irrelevant. is busted. This card's dumb. You think this card is <gasps> busted? Yes. And you see, hundred percent is what you're gonna say. <laughs> Yeah, this card's really good. This is a divination for one mana in red. Um, This is a red divination. What's with blank the stage? I don't know what that means. I mean, it's a... Rakdos is a very... Uh, it's a theatrical... Yeah, there's a theater stage theme in the Rakdos guild this, uh, this time around. Mirror March. God, this alliteration is, <laughs> Some, is unbelievable, dude. <laughs> Valley Man said, come on, Rob. Everyone can't be swole. Some people have noodle arms. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. That's true. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I'll believe you. I'm sorry. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, flip a coin and so you lose a flip. So I'm going to play my Thunder My Hell Kite, mm -hmm. and I'm going to flip coins. For each flip one, I can make a copy of my Thunder My Hell Kite. They gain haste. They already have haste, dummy. Exile them at the beginning of the next end step. Cool effect. Terrible card. This is your typical. We went, we go over this every single time. Oh, the, the this five is your or typical six mana red card. Five or six red <laughs> mana enchantment. That has a paragraph of text on it. That's kind of cool, and somebody may break it one day, but never in a construct. No, because, like, I mean, Possibility Storm, Sunbird is War Sturge, Sunbird, you're right. All of these, like, six mana Hat red. Hazard bombardment. Six mana of these, these six mana red enchantments. Rick's Maddie Reveler. Cards, cards, gas. This card's great. Were you going to say busted? And then you're like, it's busted. I didn't want to say busted again. Yeah. Gas. I figured you were going to yell at me. I would. You're going to laugh at I me. Would, I would. Everything's busted to you. Rob, if you don't stop it, you're going to get the hose in between videos. The hose in, Jesus. Rick's <laughs> Matty Revelator. Two mana for a 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> Spectacle, four. So I can pay two more mana than it's cost. That seems like a good deal. When yeah, it enters the battlefield... But only if you deal damage to someone. Thank goodness. Oof. When it enters the battlefield, discard a card, then draw a card. Okay, so I loot when it enters the battlefield, no matter what. If its spectacle cost was paid, instead discard your hand, then draw three. Oh, so it's basically just Bedlam Reveler. Yes. But it's a two-color Bedlam Reveler. 
Yeah, in the two colors that the set is built around. Oh, are you talking about what well, you're talking about? Constructed. Yeah. It, it still smooths out your draws and limited. Like the front half is still great. Oh yeah, I'll play a two two for two. That lets me loot hundred percent. Yeah. Is Abigail calling you again? She doesn't ever call. They think I'm Abigail. It's unbelievable. They Tell her to stop Abigail. calling. This is interesting because, like, there's a lot of four mana, like, destroy a land cards that go around nowadays. But tacking Scry 2 onto it has to be one of the better the better options. I, I, I mean, we're not going to play this card. Let's not be let's not be mistaken. I'm just trying to give credit where credit's due that... Uh, there's a bunch of them. That there's a bunch of them, and Scry 2 is one of the better upgrades for this card. Yeah. Rollable Recluse. Five mana for a 6-5. It attacks each combat of Fable. This is a, Seems pretty good. It's a big dude. As a large man. See you later. See you. Oh, Rubbling Ruin. Look at this alliteration, dude. He looks like Guile. What was this guy? A rock Rubble Boat Recluse. Rumbling Ruin. Just check the next one just to see. Are they like deliberately making things alliterative because of Stanley's passing? I, I really... I'm, it, I thought it was coincidental at first, but now I'm like, there's a lot of cards that are alliterative. Six mana for a 6-6. Six, six. When it enters the battlefield, count the number of 1-1 one, one counters on creatures you control. Count them, Rob. One, two, three, enters the number, five, count six, the number of... That's why I play two out of giant. I can't do that stuff. Creatures your opponents control with power less than or equal to that number can't block this turn. That's interesting. Why doesn't he have haste? Like, why doesn't it help himself? I guess because he's such a large body that he doesn't need it, need the effect. It's the wording on this. Count the number of one one counters is interesting, right? Because it could say, when it enters the battlefield, creatures your opponents control with power less than or equal to the number, the number of, counters of counters on creatures you control can't block this turn. It's interesting because it says count them. Like, it's instructing you to count the, the counters before doing anything else which is I don't think they've ever done that before I don't think they've ever told you hey stop what you're doing count the counters it's not even a trigger either it's 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 when it enters as it enters the battlefield well it's a trigger when and if are triggers when this enters the battlefield deal two damage that's true oh I guess it would say they the ones that the ones as, that as things as. that aren't triggers say as this enters as. the battlefield yeah you're right yeah you're right uh, but no wait you don't really think that I'm being dead serious you don't think it looks like a like a stony version of Guile when the setup been done before he died? Uh, no, I think it probably would have been, but they could always go back and, and change the names in the files. Like that's, however, that that also might have been too soon. Anyway, it's it's really coincidental. What did you say? It looks like Guile. What does him? Oh, because the hair, the rock hair, and the face. Do you think this is Guile's rock face? That looks a lot like Guile. Scorch Mark deals two damage to a creature. If it would die, exile it. This is a sad, sad magma it's spray. It's a two mana magma spray, yes. It's sad. Uh, correct. Is magma spray sorcery or instant? No, magma spray is 100% innocent because it doesn't go to face. Wow, so it's literally just a strictly worse magma spray? I wish we had magma spray. They have some sweet magma spray art. The one where like the magma's coming out in between the rocks when it was foiled. Liquid hot magma spray. Liquid hot magma spray. Come on, Scryfall, let's go. Uh, Magnus Spray does two damage to a creature. If that creature would die, exile instead. Scorch Spray does two damage to a creature. If that creature... It's literally the same exact text. It's literally just two mana instead of one mana. That's that's crazy. Go back real quick. I want to read the quote. Have you seen your face? Oh. Trust me, this will. Be... That's just insulting. Yeah, that's, that's rude. just rude. Scargan Hellkite, five mana for a four four floaty boy. I think this card's good. This card's gas. Okay, just making sure. This card's great. So you have a four four. Your your typical four four flyer with haste. Uh, your 4-4 Dragon with Haste for 5, right? Similar to Thunder by Hellkite, similar to Storm Breath, Storm Breath Dragon, similar to... Uh, what was another one? Uh, Come on. Come on, don't do this. Storm Breath Dragon. I said it. I said it, man. Um, don't worry about it. Oh, uh, deal 4 damage to a non-dragon creature. Glorybringer. Yes, we correct. Did it. So, only the difference is you, you can make this a 5-5 five five if you want. And if you do... Filk Money, 19 months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Swole Mike is here to celebrate. You're my favorite NCG content creator. Hey, congrats, Thanks, man. Buddy. Congrats. Thank you. Good for you, man. I'm happy that you're actually able to donate to him just to see me every once in a while. I, it's a little things. It is. It's a little things, it's man. It's lovely, isn't it? Four mana, Scargan Hellcat deals two damage divided as you choose among one or two targets. So you can just deal them two. You can deal creatures two. Activate this only has one one counter. So if you don't choose to make it a 4-4 four, four with haste and you make it just a 5-5 five, five for five, you get another sick ability for four mana, which is pretty sweet. Like the versatility on this card is great. And four four seems like a lot, but being able to throw around damage is pretty pretty ridiculous. Fork bolts is pretty ridiculous. Also, on a stick. If they don't deal with this guy, you're just gonna it's gonna take over. Yeah. Yeah, this card's great. Skewer the critics. Three mana for a lightning bolt that costs one mana if you spectacle it, and it is a sorcery. Card's great. 
Yeah, it's still a lightning bolt. It's great. I think it's good. I don't think it's great. It's great. Oh, I just did something. Nice. Smelt word. Ing <laughs> this is what. This is you, man. This is your My little. My nose doesn't look like that. It will one day. You're a little smelt word, Ignis. You Ingus. You stupid. Ig oh, it is Ignis. I rest my case. Two mana for a 2-1. You can sacrifice it to gain control of target creature power 3. Let's literally just active treason on a stick. What's active treason? Uh, it was that first card we reviewed. It's a oh, new yeah. one, so you probably aren't super familiar with it yeah. yet. One day. Uh, but it is power 3 or less. It's and fun. you untap the creature, it gains haste. Activate it only when you can cast a sorcery. <clears throat> this card's cute. I mean... I in, in the context of, of Limited, it's actually not that bad at all. Oh, no, I think it's fine. In there limited. are some times probably in Limited where you're like, should I run this Act of Treason in my aggro deck well, in order is, to, for one turn where I steal the creature and I swing for lethal? Well, the thing is, like, you're not going to you're not gonna not play this because it is a 2-1 for 2. So, yeah. So it has a... Like, it's not... it's You're not priced out of playing it by its power and toughness to cost ratio. His nickname is Smellemental. That's <laughs> 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 Spear Spewer, another alliterative card. That's it's getting really out of hand now. Are you angry about it? No, no, no. It's just really weird. Okay. And O2 for one. I mean, I'm not even like. I said okay. How's it? Yeah, but you said kind of like okay. No, you just took it that way because you're angry. You won't like him when he's angry. That's my secret. I'm always angry. <laughs> Defender Spear 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 Spewer deals one damage to each player for a Tapperino. That's good in two headed giant. It's true. Well, it does do that. It's even. It it's does. even in two at a giant. Yeah, but we're playing aggro. We're playing one mana lightning bolts. Do we get to light the stage yet? No, not yet. We haven't? Aren't Did they in alphabetical order? Isn't that a Gracdos card? No, I thought light up the stage is the red card that lets you divination. It is, you're right. It's on here. Yeah, already. we've already got there. We said the card sucks. What, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> Spike Wheel Acrobat. Four mana for a 5 2. However, it's three mana if you deal some damage. Crap. Cool. Storm Strike. One man. Another alliterative card. Another alliterative card. One red. Target creature gets plus one plus zero oh and gains first strike until end of turn. Scry one. It's a good one mana combat trick. It is. Actually, in terms of combat tricks, it's not bad. You do not say it sucks. You have intelligence. Or. Oh, it's Billy. Hey, Billy. Uh, Tin Street Dodger. Look at this milady. Look at this fedora tipping milady over here. Holy cow. Look at this guy. <laughs> That's. <laughs> you got any defenders, milady? A 1-1 one, one red with haste. Tin Street Dodger can't be blocked this turn except by creatures with defender. Well, that's that's cute. Are there any more cards? I think that's probably the last one. And that's the end. We did it. Um, So as far as red cards that will likely see some amount of play whatsoever, uh, Deface, Electro Dominance, Light Up the Stage, Rick's Matty Reveler, Skargan Hellkite, and Skewer the Critics, all of which will be in the description below. Uh, all of the all of the cards that we we think we'll see some amount of play and that that really stood out for us will be in the description so you guys can discuss that if you like. If you're watching on Twitch, we are not going anywhere. We're just going to end this particular video. If you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Links are in the description below. You can check out meundies.com slash Frank Laporte to get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And you can be sure to check out part two, which will have green, the guilds, and all the colorless cards. So thank you guys for watching this part wait, one wait, of this. Wait, 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 don't hit the button. Also, if you have anything that you agree with, didn't agree with, leave it down in the comments below. That way I can look at it later. I won't look at it. He'll respond. He'll, he shoots me a message. It's cool. I so do. like send me messages. Send... He sends me messages, your messages, and it brightens my day. If you guys, if you guys have any compliments or criticisms like, for Rob. Yeah, even if it's negative, I'll be happy that you said my name. Let me know. I will send, I will pass it along. He so really does. make sure you let us know in the comments. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time.